All right, we're live. What's going on, boys and girls? Welcome back to the worst Magic the Gathering stream. Lovely to have you all with me on your behalf. What a joy it is for you to have me. Boys and girls, how about for all of us, what a joy it is to have Vorinclex today, Monstrous Raider. Not uh, this one, SR Commander. I actually tried to put it together, but I found it kind of boring. That's why you haven't really seen it. Just green green good stuff with, you know, like this at the end that makes a lot of people just concede. So didn't find it interesting. Nevertheless, uh, great job keeping focus. There you go. If one or more uh, counters would be put on a permanent or player like Planeswalkers, put twice that many uh, of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player instead. And of course, for the opponent, it halves the number of counters they'd put on things or themselves. So it's nice with a uh, plus one, plus one counters. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff like that. We've got some tech for plus one, plus one counters with things like a uh, uh, the Ozolith here, uh, where is it? Hardened Scales here, uh, plus oneing the number of counters that we put on things, and we also have Branching Evolution here, also doubling the number of plus one, plus one counters that we put on things. Uh, today, I took out the Awakening of V2 Ghazi, that, um, like, instant, right? It costs five. You put, like, nine plus one, plus one counters on a land. I just, I I don't know. For the, for the last, like, three, four times I played this deck on stream, I, I wasn't too thrilled with it. I don't know. If the, if the token had Trample, I'd be a lot more uh, thrilled with it. So um, I put in Vivian Monsters Advocate instead. Um, she lets us cast the um, creature spells off the top of our library, which is nice because we still have um, Augur of Autumn and Oracle of Moldaya in here to uh, you know really move through cards off the top of our library, not to mention draw engines like the Great Henge. Um, Guardian Project and Toski here can help us uh, filter through the uh, top card of our library, right? Hell, even the Celestis, you know, Cultivate, a whole lot of things can do that, yeah. So, um, Triple Vivian, really nice, helps us, uh, recover from board wipes, and, like, you know, I only have a Heroic Intervention here as a blanket, indestructible, um, to save us against board wipes. We have a couple of other instants that'll help, like, uh, right here, Gaia's Gift will, like, give one thing indestructible, so, yeah, I like the resilience that, uh, Vivian Monsters Advocate provides. We also have, uh, Vivian Reed here for the coverage she provides against artifacts and enchantments, and, of course, since we're running a healthy number of creatures here, 35 out of the, uh, 90 99 cards in our uh, deck there. Yeah, pretty nice that we can uh, have a good uh, amount of creatures uh, Yeah, from her. And also Vivian Arcbow Ranger. She puts plus one, plus one counters on things, and she's also, um, <clears throat> you know, interaction with our opponent's creatures. And speaking of interaction with our opponent's creatures, I also put in a tail swipe today. In the upper end here, we've got um, Averbrook Caretaker. Not super big herself, but the um, ability is pretty nice. And of course, if it can uh, flip over to nighttime, yeah, that card's really good. Um, we've got Biogenic Upgrade, because it it gets kind of silly, especially um, if we put three plus one plus one counters on a creature that already has plus one plus one counters, you know, um, and then we have Vorinclex or Branching Evolution out. Once again, it doubles the number of plus one plus one counters because, yeah, this doubles the number of plus one plus one counters on creatures. So it, it could get pretty silly. I still haven't gotten a uh, triple digit Vorinclex yet, but I would uh, like to get like a hundred hundred Vorinclex at some point, maybe make a short out of it. Got Cage Sun, Ancient Bronze Dragon, pretty nice there. It, it could just end the game, but it doesn't have haste, you know, it doesn't have trample, so it's kind of balanced in that regard. Um, big Vorinclex here for the headaches it causes, and uh, we already talked about the Great Hand. We've got Nykthos in the land department, also Lair of the Hydra. Um, this, uh, Alchemy Land, which is pretty darn good, and uh, Beseju. Why don't we hop on into this? Thank you all for joining me. Appreciate having each and every one of you. Let's get right into this. You know, it's been like a month since I freaking played Vorinclex. Uh, yes. Fine match. Okay, thank you. Crawl. Story. Yep. Go. I got the avatar too. Style points. All right. <clears throat> kind of like in this hand, right? Nothing crazy going on. Mana Dork, turn one, turn two, play. Keep seven. Wow, okay, that's uh, quite a frame right there. Well, okay. Let's, let's pick that up, please, computer machine. Thank you. Okay. 
Alright, they just dropped that. I'm going for a uh, Beast Caller. Because already it puts plus one, plus one counters on itself and we have hardened skills. Could be nice if uh doesn't die and we, uh, yeah. Well, there's that. <sighs> okay, we'll drop Armored Scrap Gorger and then we'll do Rishkar next turn, I think. Feels pretty good because Rishkar puts uh, a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures, right? So it can put like two plus one, plus one counters because this... All right, nice. They got that down. Uh, I'm still feeling Rishkar right now. All right, and uh, we'll go ahead and not attack because <clears throat> I don't want them uh, swinging in with this yet. Even though you know that they have a lot of cards in hand, they probably won't want to swing in with that for one or two turns. Yep, that's a pretty good one. We'll definitely want to. Uh, Fight that with the Voracious Hydra. X equals, it looks like we can do four now, which is pretty good. Um, right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm feeling this one. Right? Yeah, because I, th I think Vorinclex is just going to die. F it. Fight, target creature, this one with the annoying effect, please. Thank you. And if uh, we don't get wiped, I would like to take that out of their graveyard next turn with Armored Scrap Gorger. Annoying. Very annoying. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can play Vorinclex and not have the mana for Gaia's Gift, which is quite unfortunate there. Do we do Vorinclex anyway? I'm I'm, I'm kind of feeling a uh, attack in here. Uh, yep, we'll take that right out of the graveyard right now. I think we'll go ahead and get a decent swing in. That's 11 damage, not terrible. Granted, I can't block their overhead helm right now, but I still think that's okay. It'd be really nice if, once again, just like I said last turn, we didn't get wiped. Because if we can untap, we have Gaia's Gift, which provides very nice protection. Okay, sure. They kill Vorinclex, but I'm honestly fine with that right now. We've got pretty good power on the field. All right, they'll probably discard their hand to its effect, draw three cards. I see borrowed time. W was that borrowed time? Oh, it's in their great. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, what exactly are we going to do here? I'm feeling fight rigging, and uh, it'll activate too, and then we still have Gaia's Gift open. So let's get something real nice here. Uh, you know, Tail Swipe's actually good because it'll hit uh, Sarah Paragon. So this is good. And that's 13 damage, unfortunately, just south of lethal. Or wait, this is actually going to get powered up. We win. Oh yeah, <laughs> nice. Wow, oh, that was pretty clean, right? Not bad there, yeah. Finally got the uh, third oil counter on it. Gets plus three, plus zero, as long as three or more oil counters are on it. That was a pretty, uh, that was a pretty nifty turn. Not to toot my own horn, just to toot the cards' horn, you know? It's pretty nicely done with the fight rigging top deck into something usable. Not the best thing, but hey. Took Sarah Paragon off the field, so that's actually really good. Up against Go Shintai. Um, one interesting interaction that our commander has against theirs is that um, 
it'll have the number of uh, lore counters that they put on their sagas and kind of mute them as a result. I don't know how hard I want to invest into a possible wipe here, so instead of Goreclaw next turn, I'm kind of feeling Branching Evolution. And then get Goreclaw down and get double counters on uh, Pelt Collector. Is that good? I I'm kind of liking it. Okay, they go Signet. Cool. Um, do we go Goreclaw here? I'm I'm kind of feeling it. Spell Collector will get two plus one plus one counters. We didn't draw the land there, so it makes our commander affordable. Of course, if we don't get wiped and lose the discount it gives. Oh, jeez. All right, they're, uh, they're going for it, man. So uh, we're going to have to be good here. Oh, 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 I wonder if he had a wipe too. If he does, he feels terrible about that. For the record, he was about to do pretty all right. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Got him on turn four, dude. Was that turn four? I think that was turn five. Nevertheless, man. Oof. Oof. I love that Vorinclex has haste. Love it, man. Oh, man, I don't want to be leaving really valuable, expensive commanders on the field without at least the option to attack with them, you know? Oh, man. Ooh, I... I don't know about this one. As much as I'd like to take it, I don't think this is it. No creatures until a possible but not guaranteed Toski on turn three. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pre-hover the free mulligan right there. Oh, man. Oh, no. Fine. Yeah, we keep it. We get rid of either Selvala or the Celestis. Probably the Celestis because of a uh, Leafkin Druid here. Tapping for two mana, four more creatures, blah, blah. Wow, another dork. Holy poop. I think we'll start out with uh, Leafkin Druid, though. Instead of um, <clears throat> Gala Greeters, because Leafkin Druid gives us the option of going Gala Greeters, Elysian Carry to next turn. Or Toski. Uh, not gonna lie, I'm kind of feeling uh, Gala Greeters into Karyatid here, and then next turn having uh, some swings with the Toski on the board. Is that okay with you, Geek? What are you doing? I want to make Gila Greeters a 2-2 here, since they have that uh, artifact that'll make a 1-1, one, one, right? Alright, they went ahead and uh, just passed turn, so we dropped Toski and uh, attack. They have this, though, so I don't want to attack with the... Do I want to attack with the 1-1? Honestly, I probably should. 
just so that I actually get a swing in, right? <clears throat> so they can block the 1-1, one, one, I can get a card. All right, we got two cards. I mean, that's good. Worm, coil, engine. Well, that's good. That's definitely good. Now, what are we going to do about that? What are we going to do about that, man? Selvala, Jugan defends the temple. Vorinclex, and then not even attack with Gala Greeters. What is it here, man? What is it? Um, maybe it's Selvala. <clears throat> it kind of sucks that they have Worm Coil Engine, not gonna lie. Um, we'll go ahead and, uh, maybe the Treasure Token's better here. Um, one, two, and then we get six mana, and then we get, um, a little more after that. So how about, um... So now Elysian Carry to taps for two mana, I think is the only reason I'm doing this. And we're pretty much extended all the way out, so if they kill us, that's it. Uh, I want the counters on you, and I also want the counters on you, so that they can both swing through. Uh, we have to attack with everything that we can. I assume Vorinclex seeks the Worm Coil Engine, the 1-1 one -one blocks Toski. Okay. Now we're very extended into a wipe, so we're very happy that Toski's drawing us a few cards. Not gonna lie, it was pretty good that um, Vorinclex doubled the number of counters we put on this because the the um, mana dork wouldn't be too good. <clears throat> okay, they hit that to kill Toski. Maybe they'll wipe. Oh, poor guy misclicked. Eh, yeah, it happens, poor guy. All right, he's gonna have to go digging for his wipe. Uh, this one has Death Touch. This one doesn't have Death Touch. Okay. We'll go ahead and uh, do this. Um, I think we have to drop this and then fight it against this, right? I'm I'm kind of feeling that right now. So let's see. Um, one... Uh, and just do this. I just want to see how much mana. Sorry. Don't know the number right now. Um, good. Good. Ah, oh, tortured him. Oh, wow. Yes. There you go. There you go. He didn't, he didn't have the wipe. He didn't feel like digging for it. And we were going to swing in with a good amount of creatures. Oh, yes. Yes. Toski MVP there getting us the card advantage that we needed. I mean, he didn't have all the answers or his super controly cards, but, like, you know, if he was ha play having a better game, Tusky would have just been even more MVP there. But, yeah, we were going to bring Hungering Hydra in as big as possible. Um, <clears throat> minus one forest, of course, and uh, minus using the Elysian Caryatid for mana, so that way I could attack in with it and get a card. And then we were going to Blizzard Brawl that Hungering Hydra against um, <clears throat> their token that didn't have Death Touch, so that we could grow it with counters. Although, arguably, it might have been a smarter play for me to not play that creature onto the field, right? Um, <clears throat> just so I wouldn't overextend even further into a board wipe. Do I keep this? Yeah. <clears throat> We're up against another green creature deck. Nylea Keen-Eyed lets them uh, reveal the top card of their library, and if it's a creature, put it into their hand, and creature spells cost one less to cast. Good stuff. I think the play next turn is Augur of Autumn if we don't draw land. 
maybe Jugan if we do. Uh, no attacks, pass turn. Looks like they can drop their commander if they want. Uh, yep. <clears throat> their Paradise Druid is tapped, so if we draw a fight, we're definitely hitting that. Uh, but we don't, so. There you go, we got five mana. That's pretty good. <clears throat> what are we doing? Defiler Vigor? I'm feeling Defiler Vigor. A land would be incredible. <clears throat> but we actually do have capacity for six mana right now, so we can do Vorinclex paying life, and then Gala Greeters paying life. Uh, oh, he gets to do that. <clears throat> right, yeah, 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 at the beginning of each combat. Okay, that is definitely unfortunate, but <clears throat> if we can go off next turn, we should be good. I'm taking the 10 from their knight. They didn't even do it. Okay, well, maybe they can fight. Yeah, it's definitely good. <clears throat> That's definitely annoying. <clears throat> so our, our saving grace right now is this thing. All right, how exactly am I going to do this? One, two, three. <clears throat> how exactly are we going to do this? This one seems pretty good. <clears throat> On target creature, probably this. I think this one, yeah. So that way we have five modified creatures, and now this gets a bonus. You see it's a 10-10 now. Um, <clears throat> do we get this one, too? Yeah, I, I'm kind of liking this one, too. Uh, that's going to be no, so we can hold open the Snakeskin Veil. Alright, next. They double their power and toughness. This doesn't have reach, though, right? Okay, good. So we can swing in with that. All right, good. They lost some power on their field, too. Beautiful. Oh, boy. Well, <clears throat> please whiff. Oh, the Nissa's actually pretty darn good there. Gonna make a 3-3, three, three, uh... Or actually, no, it only has half the number of plus one, plus one counters rounded down, right, because of Vorinclex. Okay, so at least it won't double to a 6-6, six, six. it doubles to a 2-2. Two, two. Feels desperate. Uh, and that's it? Yeah, I'm not even blocking the rest. There you go. It did feel desperate. Oh, God. When you're the best, it's, it's just easy. Winning's just easy. <clears throat> and they actually looked really good with that um, double power toughness enchantment and an indestructible. Oh, man. Thank goodness we kept the snakeskin veil open for the... Uh, for the Jugan defends the temple thing. Damn. Damn. Wow, they were actually looking so good, but we had a 10-10, then 12-12 flyer. Oh, man. Wow, and they were actually looking really good there. I I was not pleased that they had that enchantment. Wow.
You know what? Ah, do we take this? I think we might. Let's give it a shot. <clears throat> I foresee uh, <clears throat> being handcuffed with the uh, top decks. I'm just not feeling good about it. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Sorry, I can't do this for uh, X equals zero and watch it drop dead. I mean, I guess I could, but not really interested in doing that. We'll get the uh, Signet down pass. It would be nice if they dropped a creature that this could uh, fight. We could play it for up to X equals 2 next turn. I mean, we could also play it for X equals 2 and then double the number of plus 1 plus 1 counters. Uh, we can't kill that with it, unfortunately. So I'm kind of feeling okay with dropping this thing at X equals 3. <laughs> do I do that? Yeah. <laughs> it has a ward cost, so if they want to burn it down... And it's got 3 toughness, they could burn it down. But hopefully it takes a lot of their turn. And then we can bring Voracious Hydra in and fight that 3-3. Three, three. doesn't have any weird stuff. Is dealt excess damage if a giant... All right, they've got to hit it with lightning bolt so that they can pay ward too. So, is that happening? Are you are you bouncing it? I would assume it's in their theme to burn it if they can. So that ward too looks like it might be doing work right now. All right, they dropped the faceless agent. It'll probably uh, get them a giant, given what that is. We'll go ahead and we'll drop voracious hydra and cut that thing right now. <clears throat> One, two, three. Right? Yes. <clears throat> oh, yes. 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 We will attack. Of course. No reason not to. I think the Ward 2 on Ogre Jelly uh, did some work last time. And let me bring this up. This is kind of interesting because um, it, it makes like a copy of itself. Um with, with that condition there, which I'm not going to read partially because it's behind my text box, but yeah, it works really nicely with Foreign Collects. I'd actually like to get Vivian Reed down, even though we can drop Foreign Collects. Hang on. Is it Vivian Reed? Or is it Ava Brooke Caretaker? Because it's not just which one is the best play. It's also like... Yeah, they have one blue open. I don't really want to have uh, Vorinclex countered here. So we're going to go ahead and make them uh, make them annoyed. Do we get Ava Brooke Caretaker down? I don't know. I, I'm kind of feeling Vivian. And uh, I think we'll attack with that one. Do we attack with Voracious? I don't even want to. I don't want to lose it. How much does their commander cost right now? Plus four. Wow, it costs seven right now. They could tap out for that. Or, well, nearly tap out, whatever. Okay, they pay the ward cost. We're all right with that. I think it'll make a copy of itself. Oh, wait, no, that's when it, it has a when it dies effect. It got exiled. Okay. Crystalline Giant's definitely good. What did it get there? Lifelink. Okay, it got lifelink. I'm feeling a uh, Vorinclex. And you know what? I'm feeling something else, too. What are we going to get here? Defiler of Vigor? Defiler of Vigor could actually be really good here. Um, Frog Hemoth is okay, too. Um, actually, Toski's pretty good, because we're going to be attacking in, right? Toski's actually pretty good here. Not even going to lie. Like, not even going to lie. That's I think that's pretty good.
That would be hardened skills pass. Pretty nice pickup there with hardened skills. Okay, that took a lot of their mana. They have one now. I don't know what they're doing with that. They could lightning bolt this. They could bounce something. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, because now they dealt excess damage. What happens? They draw a card. Okay, yeah, that's good stuff. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, but uh, oh, we're, we're going to get them. Uh, that's going to be Pelt Collector into Averbrook Caretaker. Oh. Wow, nice. Oh, right, this one had lifelink. Okay, yeah, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Big Toski cards, though. Real nice when they're... Oh, the Ozolith. So even if they get a fat wipe on us, it can still collect the counters. Even if it's River's Rebuke. Well, I guess not, because Ozolith will come back to hand, too. We have seven lands, so if they get us with the River's Rebuke, if that's the one card in their hand, I'm not too worried. Okay, that's probably what they do right before conceding. It, it's not to brag. We got a really nice shake, and he didn't get enough of a shake, so, you know. All right. Well, there it is. He gets nothing out of that because it's a saga, and we have Vorinclex. <laughs> and just to, so that we're all on the same page, it enters with a lore counter, right? When it enters the battlefield, um, as this saga enters the battlefield, uh, and at your draw step, hang on, I, I just, just so that everybody's on the same page, I know most of us know this, okay? Um, yeah, blah, 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 and after your draw step, add a lore counter, right? And Vorinclex, um, if an opponent would put one or more uh, counters on anything or themselves, yeah, they put half instead. So one divided by two, rounded down to zero. Oh, poor guy, wow. Hey, poor guy, because that was insult to, uh, that was insult to injury for the poor guy. Oh, man. Yeah, he Celestist id into a saga. Poor guy against Vorinclex. I start now with everything going right here. What the hell happened? Did I end the, my last stream just losing a lot? I don't think it was that bad. Sometimes I get my butt kicked for like an hour or two straight, but I don't think that happened. Do we keep this? Because we really don't have a play until turn three. So as nice as it is seeing a one and a two, I don't think this is actually the hand. Huh. Kind of the same thing. I think I think I have to mulligan that. Start losing cards, unfortunately. Yep, yep, we can definitely keep it, and we'll be freaking grateful for it, too. As much as I want to keep Oron Reef Ooze, I think it might have to go. Um, Evolving Adaptive is interesting in this deck because it, um, it increases with size as it gets oil counters, right? So, if I can get plus one, plus one counters onto this, right, and then start, like, proliferating or something, it'll grow at double rate. Which is actually pretty cool. I think we'll go uh, adaptive first. <clears throat> Arguably, Ozolith was a better play. Oh, he got hardened scales. Damn it. Good stuff. Good stuff, man. That's too bad. That's the turn. Unfortunately, we have a big old nothing to do next turn. I assume he must have top decked this first, because I would have played Hardened Scales before dropping this for, like, X equals 1. Frog Hemoth is good, but uh, they're going to get the Ranger class here. That actually sucks for us, because they're going to start building up at a pretty decent clip. And, like, yes, we do have Vorinclex, but I don't feel good. 
my stomach hurts. It sucks. And it's not an actual stomach ache, it's a, it's a metaphorical sense of doom. I don't feel good. At least Evolving Adaptive gets a counter here. We'll go ahead and swing in the damage, because I don't want to block with it necessarily. Because, um, Vorinclex enters the battlefield, and then this will get, um, two oil counters. Which is halfway decent. And we noticed that they didn't do anything um, before combat here, so we assume that Vorinclex is uh, probably going to get pooped on. So, since we can probably safely assume that Vorinclex gets pooped on on site here, uh, it's fairly obvious. Um, and maybe Frog Hemoth isn't the best, maybe we can do Renata. I just don't feel too good about this. Um, if they do tap a decent, like, they, they obvious could they have played their commander? Oh, um, maybe they can now, actually. I think they can tap out for their commander using this, uh, this thing's second ability there. So if they don't do that, they're extremely obviously waiting for Vorinclex. I mean, I, actually, <laughs> no matter what, they're extremely obviously, they have an answer for him in hand. It's just whether or not they, because they obviously want to do something else. Uh, Johnny, that's actually freaking good. Damn it, that's actually good. I think they might win here if I don't block with Renata. Right, because that's 11 damage, now it's 13. Anything have Trample? That has Trample, this does not have Trample, we'll block this. That thing also has Vigilance, which actually really sucks. That really sucks that that had Vigilance there. <clears throat> we have 6 mana, which unfortunately is not enough to do um, both of these things, which is what we really need to do. Uh, so I think we probably just lose. I mean, I... You know what? I honestly have to uh, not attack there and freaking hope for the best, which really doesn't feel good. Because we're just going to get destroyed, right? Because they just use this again if they want. Um, although they can't get the plus one, plus one counters on the creatures because of our Vorinclex, so that was actually pretty smart of them to not do that. I think we might double block the Stone Coil Serpent. We can double block it with, um... Oh, wait, what? That actually got a counter? Oh, because it, they have Hardened Scale. Shoot, that sucks. Okay. Um, how are we doing this exactly? Um, I can't kill both of them. Um, let's see. Maybe we can block that with this. And block this with both of these. They'll probably kill Vorinclex here, which is honestly better. Because we can just cast Vorinclex again. Goreclaw helps with that. <clears throat> um, that's really not too good. Um, so maybe we just drop Frog Hemoth. We can do Guardian Project into Frog Hemoth. At least get an extra card. Uh, it doesn't matter. Those are oil counters. It doesn't matter. Um, and it looks like we probably can pretty much do nothing here, right? Uh, this really sucks. We're, we're just prolonging inevitable. Because now they don't even... Ha we don't even have Vorinclex to mute them. I should have done a... Maybe I should have played Vorinclex there. But I would just lose him again. Oh, that... Oh, man. If they didn't have hardened scales, it might have been nice to... Um, <clears throat> one-to-one -one block that wolf with our Vorinclex, and it would have been a 6-6. Six, six. But they had hardened scale, so uh, we couldn't stop them from putting plus one, plus one counters entirely. That was, uh, that was a pretty good game. <clears throat> Damn, really too bad that he had hardened scales there. Nice. That actually did such heavy lifting for him. Damn it, if he didn't have that, Vorinclex could have actually stymied them. Would have been totally different, because I don't think they would have attacked that phase. Or maybe they would have not, or they, they might have made the mistake. Maybe not, because they're playing a counters deck, so they might be, like, a more acutely aware, you know, that Foreign Clex would actually stymie them. We can probably keep this. <clears throat> 
I think we drop Mindstone. <clears throat> I mean, we, we could drop Ranger Class and get that started. Do we do that? Do we? Honestly, fine. Let's do it. Because if we, um, if we top deck the land, um, it might be nice to get Oron Refus down. Oh, thank the good heavens. Okay. Thank the good heavens. That feels very good. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. That's going to be him. And we'll just attack. Alright, Uro, that's pretty good. Hopefully we can get some big lands. Um, all, all we're doing is dropping Kodama and then um, attacking with Oron Rifus. If we get a land top deck, that'd be nice because we could do um, Mindstone into a Kodama. Get a little extra capacity for uh, lands, that's pretty good. Uh, well, we don't get that, so we drop this. And we get some lands, which is going to help us in case we get rivers rebuked. Well, we get some lands, we get one whole entire land. But it's better than none, so we did that. We did that. We'll have to order the trigger so that Ranger Class resolves first and then Oron Refus does its thing. Okay, they exiled that, which is actually not bad because that didn't happen to Borinclex, right? So <laughs> I think overall that's okay. Um, let's do this one. Is that okay, nerd? Oh, that's okay with you? You're, you're fine if I drop the Mind Stone? Thank you. It's very nice of you, nerd. All right, we're going to go ahead, uh, attack with all these things. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that resolves. Yes. Yes. We're putting the uh, counter on this first, and now Oron Reef Ooze is going to put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature with a plus one, plus one counter. I think it's better to put the uh, thing on the Ooze, be or on the bird, sorry, because it has flying, right, as opposed to this. Okay, so they didn't have the answer for what we were going to do, which it was going to be Vorinclex attack. That simple, right? We were going to get the plus one, plus one counter on Vorinclex first, which would be two plus one, plus one counters. Then or on Reef Ooze, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter. That would be two plus one, plus one counters on that, that, and that. Yeah, that was going to be good. Yeah, the Oran Refus and um, Ranger class is particularly nice because it's, you know, repeatable um, plus one, plus one counters with the Ranger class. Granted, you know, it's slow. It's one proc per turn. Um, but nevertheless, I mean, that's pretty good because obviously, like, it just got out of hand there. It doesn't always. Sarath is a really cool commander. I'm going to have that in a, a bunch of my decks eventually. Um Untapped creatures they control have Hexproof, and tapped creatures they control have Death Touch. That's really cool. <clears throat> that is super cool. I think we probably have to mulligan this one. Jesus, dude. Okay, I get it. That's actually not a terrible hand. We'll get rid of what? Frog Hemoth? Uh, past turn. I don't even think we'll play Oron Refus for X equals 1 next turn. I think we might wait to uh, cheaply uh, proc Champion of Lambholt there. So just pass turn. Which really sucks. We went second and we haven't done anything our first two turns. And uh, I, I don't feel good, man. I don't feel good about it at one bit. And eh, they get their one damage. Nice. We just dropped Champion of Lambholt past turn. It'd be nice if it didn't get fought. It's very fragile when it starts out. Oh god, what does that cost to equip? Two. Oh boy, they can do that. <clears throat> Damn, beautiful. And an additional land. That's uh, nice. Yeah, that's well done, sir. Well done, sir. I think uh, we have to get this onto the field. Make this uh, 
modified and then attack. And then maybe next turn Vivian Reed can take this out. I, I don't know if that's the best idea. Um, we could besiege it right now. That might be the play. So let's uh, let's attack. Let's get our land. And I think I besiege you that. Maybe I wait until they uh, attack with it to do that. Because there's a possibility that they'll want to equip it to something else. Um, we'll definitely do besage you on it before combat because this could draw them a card. Honestly, maybe I should have waited for them to declare the attack. That way I could have then uh, blocked it with this. But I don't know. I, I, I like this one. They also didn't drop their commander main phase um, to give their thing death touch. So I don't know. It's fishy. Okay, well, we saved ourselves the attack, so honestly, I'm not too uh, mad about that. Uh, they don't control another creature with power 4 or greater yet, and they don't have the mana capacity right now to uh, hit hit this one um, for 4 mana and do that. So why don't we go ahead, let's see, drop that. Um, Vorinclex, and then this gets 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters. Um, it doesn't look like, let me see, um, 5, 6, 11... And then maybe two procs of this, so 15 damage next turn. I think we can survive. Now that gets two plus one plus one counters, which is quite nice because they can't uh, block now. Oh, wait, shit, they can. They can use that to power up uh, Werewolf Pack Leader. Damn it, I just screwed up. I just screwed up royally. Should not have attacked with foreign clex there. Yeah, that was actually bad. Yeah, that was a little bad, to be honest. I should have totally... Yeah, that was dumb. Oh, I got too focused on next turn. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That's very bad. Very bad. Yep, nice. 10 damage, and uh, not a whole lot for us to do here. Um, I mean, we could swing in with a Frog Hemoth and take pretty much nothing out of their graveyard, so I think that's probably about it, right? I don't see us doing much here. Doesn't matter, we're just gonna gain like two life. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's drop this on X equals one, just to have another blocker. <clears throat> Ochre Jelly blocks uh, Ronus the Indomitable. <clears throat> uh, let's see, uh, we'll block uh, Ronus the Indomitable, we'll block uh, this. <clears throat> And they still have six mana, so they probably just win here. So, good game to Sarath the Viker's Fing. Really cool, uh, really cool card. <clears throat> yep, there you go. Good game. Very nice. <clears throat> uh, man. I think I probably should not have swung in with Vorinclex and the boys there. I definitely uh, mucked that one up. Definitely. <laughs> that was uh, that was bad. I think the dude still would have won that one. <clears throat> but nevertheless, I <laughs> I also threw it away. Vorinclex versus Vorinclex. Okay, well, we start out with Elvish Mystic into Champion of Lamholt, and then to be perfectly honest, there's not a whole hell of a lot after that. I'm still going to keep it <clears throat> and hope for good top decks. <clears throat> that's a good card, but that's not the top deck that we need, which would fall into the 2, 3, 4, maybe even 5 mana range, preferably 3 or 4. 
Land is good. Fight rigging, nice. Now this will tap for two mana. As long as it's modified, which it is now. <clears throat> nice. Wow. So one, two, three, four, five, six. They have four in Clex next turn. <clears throat> so honestly, <clears throat> we should probably besage you this. Because they'll be able to activate it next turn with Orenclex, so. <clears throat> and I don't feel good about losing the capacity to play this, but I do believe that that is the right play. <clears throat> we'll attack with that, and eh, we'll attack with that too. What the hell? I don't feel good. They're getting their Vorenklex down, and I am two turns out from mine. <clears throat> the Silverback Elder is definitely good, but like, we need to get a land. So that's an if already. That stinks. Alright, at least they don't have fight rigging, so... <clears throat> Land drop, maybe? I don't know what else they have to do here. Alright, the land is definitely good there, because at least we can get down Silverback Elder. <clears throat> Champion of Lambhold will not get a plus one, plus one counter. We will still attack. Get our one whole entire damage in. <clears throat> a land would be extremely good, so that we could have Snakeskin Veil to back up our Vorinclex. Oh boy, Quirion Beast Caller into now Quirion Beast Caller is growing at double rate. That's bad. <clears throat> Very bad. They didn't attack, though. They did not attack. Huh. Okay get that down right now. We're getting the land. <clears throat> Ugh, great, dude. Oh, freaking okay, man. Alright, dude. <clears throat> I get it. I get it. I get it, man. Although, to be honest, that was a huge mana screw that we just got through with that, right? Like, the next five turns now won't be completely devoid of land. Wow, what a freaking handcuffing. Holy gosh, so it's actually really good that we did that. <clears throat> okay, Branching Evolution's really good. <clears throat> okay, but they played their last uh, thing out. Nevertheless, that just got tons of freaking counters. <clears throat> they didn't even have it become a creature, did they misclick? Why wouldn't you want it to become a creature? Jesus, dude. Oh, God. that That's freaking... That's just phenomenal. <clears throat> Pass. Yes, thank you. Wow, that's that's mi freaking miserable, dude. Okay, that's great. I mean, Heroic Intervent... It'll buy us a turn, but, like, we need the land. <clears throat> God, that thing is actually a freaking 12-12 right now. <clears throat> okay, well, he's flooded. We're screwed. <laughs> All right. Jesus Christ, dude. I mean, oh God, wow, that's frustrating. That's actually... Wait, no, we're not even going to get anything out of that because it's a freaking saga and we're up against freaking Vorinclex. So we'll have to wait to get our own Vorinclex down to do anything with that. So that's actually... Oh my God, okay. Breathe. This is a forced loss. Just, just do your thing. You have everything you need right now in order to win. I don't understand why you're doing that. I mean, I guess you're being cute and trying to swing for the one hit. <clears throat> Which is kind of cool, but, like, can you do it already? My dude, you have eight lands, Vorinclex, and this. Can you can you win now? <clears throat> yep, you're going to put those on Vorinclex because it has Trample. Thank you. Can you actually win now? Jesus Christ. Honestly, I, I I'll, we'll check our top deck. I, I'm mildly curious. 
Uh, wait, I can't do that, right? I have to block Vorinclex with this, and then uh, that with uh, this, because it doesn't have Trample. We'll just take a look at our top deck, but that's obviously it. Okay, that... Guys, we got through five cards with wherever it is. It's dead now. The wow, okay, that... Enjoy your forced win, dude. Wow, dude. Wow, that was miserable. <laughs> I mean, I know that I threw Besage you to their Fight Ring, but I think we can all agree that was the right choice to make because they were going to activate Fight Ring immediately because Vorinclex. God, dude. All right, man. All right. They got to stop us somehow. Handcuffing, like, 10 of our draws in a row is how they do it. Okay. Hey. Hey. You know what? That's how powerful we are, guys. They can't just handicap us for a few draws. They've got to handicap our whole game explicitly. I'll take it. I'll take it, man. It's cope. It is, but let's be real. That's also exactly what happened. My God. <clears throat> All right, boys. We did it. We did it. We're so good that they, they have to handicap every single thing we do for a long... Wait, Teferi who slows the sunset? No, you're not worth my fucking time. Get out of here, loser. Don't even look at me. You don't deserve it. <laughs> Go away. Your name is actually lame. Yeah, lame. Like, yeah, no. Go go back to freak. And now they're now they're actually handcuffing us against Hell <laughs> Yeah, no. Okay, yeah. Not facing blue white control. I value my time. <laughs> Not playing that garbage. I actually enjoyed playing the Vorinclex player. I get, you know, it's it's frustrating being handcuffed, but, like, at least you get to sit there and, like, you know. That dude made his land, like, like a 20-some, what was it, like, 24, 24? And he didn't even swing with it, dude. <laughs> he just wound up swinging with a fat Vorinclex. Ah, oh, Virtuous Gear Hulk is a good card. And, you know, once again, it's frustrating to sit there and be handcuffed, but, like, at least we get to be happy for another green player. You're actually, good boys, they actually put us into freaking Hulk. Yeah, I'm not wasting my time against this garbage. Not freaking wasting my time against blue white control. Why? Because that vampire needs my blood to suck? No, go suck another vampire's blood. <clears throat> Hell no. Hell no. And I would encourage you guys to as well, because um I've said it before, um, and I'll say it probably plenty more times, but against control, what it comes down to is card advantage. Um, how many cards you have in hand and how many cards you're reasonably expecting to draw each turn versus your opponent, right? So they're just trying to draw more cards than you so that they can nope everything you do and have another play, right? Which probably is not going to be a win condition because they just want to sit there and exacerbate and draw it out ad infinitum. So, like... It once you see it like that, and I hope you do, because it just ruins it for you, and that's good because that's liberating. Oh, I don't have time for that garbage. My free time. If I, if I wanted to spend my free time not having fun, I would play competitive magic. Is it evolving adaptive? <clears throat> I think it is. I think maybe because then we can do scavenging ooze next turn. Um, and then follow that up with hardened scales and maybe get something out of their graveyard. M maybe not. Granted. Would it have been better for me to attack with Evolving Adaptive as a 1-1 to give them the opportunity to block with Elysian Carry to just so that I could then bring down Scavenging Ooze and have a creature card in a graveyard? Ooh, he gets a card off. Nice, dude. Oh, Binding of the Old Gods. Well... <clears throat> That sucks, so... Um... What do we do? Probably, um, Branching Evolution, because we're not going to get any counters onto this, so just Branching Evolution. That's a reasonable thing for Binding of the Old Gods to hit also. It really sucks that we're up against Muldratha and they have this great start, including Binding of the Old Gods. This one might already be over. These people are straight up getting spoon-fed. And that... God, yeah, the, okay, dude. All right, dude. He's choosing between Scavenging Ooze and uh, Branching Evolution. They're both very good. Scavenging Ooze is extremely good against him. God, dude. Jesus Christ.
Arguably, the Armored Scrap Gorger was better there. I just feel like this game is already over. Although, does Vorinclex half the number of minus one, minus one counters that they would put on stuff, so our stuff would wind up not getting minus one, minus one counters? Not to mention, it could actually nerf Binding of the Old Gods, right? Because they could replay it, get zero counters on it, and then they'd actually have to deal with Vorinclex with like a you know a direct damage spell, which I'm sure they have, but... <clears throat> Dude, little do you know how handcuffed I am right now. I appreciate you taking all this time to consider. I appreciate the compliment, sir. Father Doug, God bless. Blessings and peace be upon you. But you don't know how freaking screwed I am right now. You're facing a doomed opponent, dude. You got this. Nice, because now this taps for a uh, two mana. So, uh, yeah. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Do I attack with Oron Refus here, or do maybe I just attack with Evolving Adaptive? But then they just block with this, right? Pay four life, it gets indestructible until end of turn, and tap it. I don't think it's worth it to attack. <clears throat> wow, dude. What are you doing? Wow. Is that a stop, or are you just lagging? Maybe I'm just lagging? Maybe I'm just lagging here. Alright, we've caught up. Nice. Alright, well, what's going on in the graveyard again? Alright, he gets the land. Beautiful. Very good, very good. If I don't draw the land, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Because they're just going to play Binding of the Old Gods again. And I can't get Vorinclex down anyway. Like, I genuinely have no idea what to do here. <clears throat> like, genuinely freaking no clue. Uh, we have to get rid of that, so that's actually really fortunate that we have the Scrap Gorger. Although they can get the Meat Hook... But it definitely hurts them a lot, too. Um, <clears throat> do we attack with this? N maybe not. I mean, um, do we? Because it would get a lot of counters, but do we do that and start really putting the hurt on? Honestly, I kind of like it. I, I, I kind of like it. <clears throat> and we lose the Oron Refuse, which sucks, but the Evolving Adaptive gets uh, some good counters on it. So they would have to double block it with this leech and give it indestructible and this if they want to kill it. Or else they can just use this and pay for life. <clears throat> yep. Very well. And remember, even now we have five capacity for mana. That is not Vorinclex. That is not even Biogenic Upgrade, which would actually be pretty cool, but unfortunately we lack Trample for this to really shine. That's an issue. When this enters the battlefield, destroy target creature. Oh, God, dude. Christ almighty. All right, dude. I get it. I had a really good start to the stream, and now you have to ruin my parade. I get it. I get it, dude. Just, just... All right, let's see what he discarded. Just take a funsies little look at it. Nice, and then he can go ahead and play that, which is pretty darn cool. He gets freaking Shieldred Whispering One. Can he play it? If he does, if he can play it, yeah, he can play it. If that hits the field, that's it. I'm I'm not bothering. We're we're not sitting here for that. Yeah. Bye bye. All right, dude. 
Eh. I, I wish it was a bit more of a contest, but I guess I need the losses. I've got to learn. Maybe I should keep a hand with only like six lands or seven. So that way, once I, uh, you know, have all my lands in my opening hand, I can actually top deck creatures and just hope that I can cast them. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's frustrating, dude. That's freaking frustrating. Kaito, cool man. All right, cool man. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, honestly, I I think this should be it. <clears throat> yeah. Dumbledorian. Guy reads the Harry Potters. All right, we'll go ahead and. Uh, Play that. This is actually a really nice pickup since we have um, Hungering Hydra in hand. Maybe we can get a really nice fight off with that. <clears throat> maybe not, but maybe. Um, do we drop this for X equals 2 right now? I'm kind of liking it because then next turn we could go Kodama. <clears throat> it's just to get a modified creature on the field so that next turn we drop this. And then we can even hit Tail Swipe if they drop something that's um, <clears throat> a 2-2 two, two, or a 3-3. Three, three. Well, not a 3-3, three, three, sorry. <clears throat> Alright, that's annoying. But we can get Kodama, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe he's just a nope shirt. We'll see. Um, I think I probably drop... I probably... Because mm, the plus one, plus one counter is good, you know? It's the only way to modify our creatures before Nissa or this. Hmm, this is tough. This is toughy, boys. I, I I don't know what to do. I think I have to drop this. All right, nope, shirt. It's been a pleasure going one for one removal counters whatever with you. Ah, uh, yep, resolve all fine, nope, shirt. You should do nothing in pass turn. Oh, come on, man. You gotta do nothing. Relax. I'm here to help. I got fresh oh, that is incredible. That's exactly what the hell we needed. We're gonna plus besage you, too. Not the forest yet. Oh, that's exactly what you need. Oh, God, yes. Do we drop this? We probably do drop this. Oh, sorry, I already dropped my line. Those, my bad. Huh? Okay. Uh, thank God we top decked the freaking land there. Thank God. All right, we finally paid our penance. All right, Urtai is definitely good. I can't give uh, Nissa, who I assume is dead now, any protection. Sucks. Uh, right, I can't do anything there. Right, yeah. All right, we draw a card. It's in. at least we can get rid of Urtai. I think that's pretty good, right? Um, why don't we go ahead and do that? We win that fight, which is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and attack first, not with the Elvish Mystic, because I would like to drop Augur of Autumn and pray for the land off the top. Pretty please. Oh, we didn't get it. Fine. All right, we drop this as the land. We're pretty extended into a board wipe at this point. And if they do wipe, we only actually have four lands. Okay, they have two pretty good cards there. I would assume they get rid of Averbrook Caretaker. But Oran Reef Ooze is good in its own right. Um, Is that Vorinclex or is that Fight Rigging? Because Vorinclex probably gets countered, right? I'm really feeling the Fight Rigging here.
Probably that. Uh, oh, thank goodness gracious. That's a be that's a beautiful thing. Do we drop this too, or do we drop this? I'm kind of liking this one. Keeps it uh, keeps us something in the hand, and hey, just got us closer to that, so that's good. Arguably, maybe I shouldn't have attacked with Elvish Mystic there. Oh wait, n never mind, because I can't bluff a Tamiyo safekeeping. Never mind, they know what our hand is. Yeah, okay, take that back. All right, crux of fate, but um, Vivian Reed is pretty good. But I think we probably just go Oran Refuse here, then next turn attack with it. Put the counter on itself, except fight rigging past turn. Yeah, so I think it was good to play off the top of the library instead of uh, dropping that. Yeah, you won't stop me. Up to one target creature can't attack or block until next turn. Uh, that's fine. All we need to do is pretty please let Vivian resolve. Pretty please that needs to resolve so bad. Uh, it's not gonna freaking resolve. All right, that can't attack or block. I was. It, it would have been nicer if maybe it, it, you know, it couldn't deal damage. Because if we can attack with it, yeah, we get more counters on it. Um, so the land would be very nice here. Um, so that we can get Vorinclex down, fight rigging, and then probably swing for victory off of that. I would assume they're gonna plus Kaito again. Same thing. Yep. That should be enough of a distraction. Alright, yep, yep, good stuff, good stuff. Alright, please, for the love of God, we need the land. God, they get to search for an instant or sword. Do you think it's gonna be wash away? Let's see, do they have creatures in their graveyard? They actually do have one. For um scavenging goose purposes. Cause um if they get um Wash away. I guess we'll see what it is, but um, wash away costs three, and they only have two here. So, I mean, unless it counters the commander, then it costs one, right? But otherwise, it costs three. So, Even something like Hardened Scales Branching Evolution would be... Oh, God. <laughs> what a loser. God. He got freaking Wash Away. You know what? Fine, clown. We're going to get this down, because then we get Gore Claw. So, now they need a wipe. So we get a round of counters. That's good. That was actually an extremely good top deck. <clears throat> this loser hates it. I mean, he could still get a wipe, you know? Like, <clears throat> nothing's stopping him. He gets a uh, zero out of his Planeswalker, and he can draw another card. And that feels like somebody who's going to concede. I don't know. He just took, a, like, long looks at each individual thing. He's super calculating. Has okay, he doesn't have a wipe. What does he have? Alright, well, we're going to start with this. We're, we're going for it. I want to be able to uh, have one thing die and then still win. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to play this. X equals three. Oh, I mean, I mean, eh, yeah, we can do that actually. Yeah, and they can counter it. We already got the round of counters at a Defiler Vigor. It's been an absolute joy. What do we have? We're not putting the uh, plus one plus one counter from fight rigging on defile our vigor. Eggs in a basket. Gore claw. Oh, there you 
There you go. What is it? What is it? They've got one card. What is it? God, I hate you. Looks like it's a kill spell, but it only won. Odawara! Alright, well, we have 19 damage on the field. They can stop five of it. We win with exactly lethal. Do they concede? Oh, it's been an absolute joy playing, you loser. God, I, you, you can't stand that you got beaten by an idiot running green, can you? That's exactly lethal, buddy, even if you block. You know, I'm not even going to do it, because I, I don't need to. Oh, God, we're big strong men here. Oh, God. What, what an absolute thrill going one-for-one one removal to you with, with, with your lack of uh, freaking... Uh, with your lack of a win condition. I love how much they hate it when their deck that doesn't have a win condition and just has paint. Look at this. Oh, look at this geek. Look at him. And he actually solved the equation for this. What are you doing? What are you freaking doing? God, there's a guy that copied and pasted from untap.gg. Oh, God, boys and girls, we buried the control player six feet under. God. Wow. If you like that and me being counter-toxic against their toxic, hit the like button because nobody likes them. They embrace that. It it, it makes it worse. And that, oh God, did you see how long he took to accept his feet? Did you see how long he took to accept his defeat? Did you see that? God, he hated that. I, I know that you like that. Hit that like button. God. God, yes. Let the guy with no kill card, with no win condition, know that maybe he should play a win condition. God, yes, we did it. We did it, boys and girls. God. And it wasn't even that much fun, which is why I say just get the hell out of there against control, even if you win. Like, so what? Can you beat your chest for a moment? You still wasted your time. Hell yeah, Nino. What's going on, dude? It's nice to have you. Thank you for stopping by. Do I do Jugen here or Cultivate? Nino, what do I do, man? <clears throat> mm, cultivate gives us four, and then, yeah, let's do Cultivate. Because then next turn we can do um, Carrioted and um, Augur of Autumn. <clears throat> I think that feels good, right? I mean, we do Augur of Autumn um, first, so that way maybe we can get the land off the um, top of the library, maybe. <clears throat> What's going on with this guy? Oh, Strict Saving. Cool. You didn't attack? Yeah, come on, man. Okay, thank you. Okay, Nino. <laughs> we agree. Very good. Very good, sir. Very good. Um, let's go ahead and drop that one and that one. Alright, Augur of Autumn eats a Lightning Helix, which, honestly, it could be worse. Okay, they drop an extra planes, by the way. Older Border there. Beautiful. Very nice. I like this guy. Hatticus. Good taste, sir. Wow, what an honor for him. I told him that I like something he did. Wow, that not that great for him? Wow, lucky guy. Alright, what are we doing here? Is it Vorinclex? Go after this thing? Force them to uh, really invest in a block? It probably is, right? It could be this. But we don't... Uh, mm, damn it. Guys, I don't know what to freaking do. You guys, this this is hard. I think we go after Vorn, or I think we go after that Planeswalker. Hell yeah, Mono Green Titan. It's been like a month since I freaking played Vorinclex, my dude. So this makes them invest 
So, yeah, okay, we got rid of that, which is good, because the tap Power Stone token each turn on a plus ability, eh, ooh, ooh, that's really good. And even if they kill Vorinclex, we still have um, Silverback Elder, Averbrook Caretaker. I think Silverback Elder might be better. Yeah, we, we figured that um, we, we figured that Vorinclex was gone. That's honestly fine. Once again, I think getting rid of this was um, quite um, important there. So why don't we go ahead, drop this, and then Averbrook Caretaker at this point? Because it has the Hexproof. Or you know what? I don't want them to get the card. So I think we pay the one, and then we just do Silverback Elder. And it could just freaking die, but you know what? I didn't want them to get the card, okay? And thank... Oh, Giga Chad. Yeah, I'm really hoping for some freaking Giga Chad plays here. Not even gonna lie. I think the Silverback Elder is gonna eat a kill spell. Because it's freaking Silverback Elder. Um, and it could help us ramp. I think we'll go Averbrook Caretaker next. Uh, we could go Fight Rigging, Jugan Defense of the Temple. This only... um. Yeah, that only triggers on the first non-creature spell. So we, we have enough to do this, pay one, then do this. That costs seven. We have it. We actually have eight, because as of uh, right now, while we have Silverback Elder on the field, if you control a creature with power four or greater, add two mana of any color instead. That's big good. What's this? Oh, Platoon Dispenser. That's a really cool card. Fortunately, it's in their graveyard, so... Um, They'll only get one card out of it, should they choose. Oh my god! Wait. Wait. You know, Silverback Elder is going to poop on that. I mean, they get the two things, but at least we're killing them, you know? At least we're killing them here. Um, what, do, we, do we hit Inscription of Abundance? Do we hit freaking Inscription of Abundance? I uh, Come on, man. Do I? I don't know. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Um, put the plus one counters probably on this. Eggs in a basket. I don't want to make Silverback Elder the most enticing uh, target in the universe. But I can't attack with this, right? So maybe we just no attack and then wait and see what they do. Because if they're going to kill any one of our cards, I'll just suicide fight it against whichever one of these has Death Touch. Cityscape freaking damn leveler. And they're going to destroy that, so... There you go. We get the suicide fight off. Uh, creature. This. Fights that. They get a card, which is definitely good for them. But, like, at least we get to drop Vorinclex and swing pretty hard at them. So, I mean, honestly, that's... It, it does suck that they have Cityscape Leveler. Not even gonna lie. It does freaking suck. It really sucks. Um, <clears throat> what are we gonna do? We could do Fight Rigging and then, like, really buff up Averbrook Caretaker. Or, actually, we'd have to buff up this. But we could do Fight Rigging and get that off, right? Or we could go Fat Vorinclex. What, what are we thinking? <clears throat> Is it freaking fight rigging or is it Vorinclex and then it probably just dies? I'm I'm okay with Vorinclex. <clears throat> that really that really hurt me. You know, I wish I wish the monkey sorry. I'm a little late on that one. I wish to goodness gracious that it actually freaking carried us. It really sucks that it didn't. God damn it. Oh, the cityscape freaking leveler, dude. Cuz now it's going to attack, destroy Vorinclex. That really sucks. We don't have a uh, a save for it. So our only other play now is going to be um, Fight Rigging. Yeah, that really sucks. Really sucks. <clears throat> uh, no blocks. Damn, that really sucks. Damn, man. Alright, that sucks because now I won't be able to activate Fight Rigging right away. Or, wait, yes I will, actually, right? This is, They're both at the beginning of combat. I just have to order my triggers properly. Alright, well. 
god, dude. All right, I think he won. Uh, let's just let's give it a freaking shot. Let's see what we get here. Uh, yes, we do pay the one. All right, this has to be good. Uh, Gaia's gift. I mean, it'll it'll help one creature do all right. We might as well drop freaking Selvala, I think. Because it'll tap for fat mana, I guess. Uh, now I can't attack, so now I have to order the triggers correctly. I have to make sure that fight rigging resolves last. And it does. Beautiful. All right, so the counter's on this. The counter's on this. Yeah, the... Oh, God. It. I mean, it costs a lot, so, like, you know, it's a good card, but... Oh, man, dude, that really sucks. That really sucks, my dude. Um, how about on that one, too? Since it gains a... Yeah, we can just swing in with it. it the, the game's freaking over, honestly. The, the Cityscape leveler is too freaking much, and then they have Worm Coil Engine, so we're not even going to attack with it. Or, we, we can't really attack very well with Foreign Clex. <clears throat> the the Averbrook Caretaker is doing serious lifting there, but unfortunately, their board position right there is a little too much to do. It's actually a lot too much, especially when they got the Worm Coil Engine back, because now we have to deal with two Death Touchers, right? The Worm Coil Engine and then the Token. Oh, gosh, dude. Damn. Damn, man. I don't know what kind of fight rigging would have been good there. I, I, what could we have gotten off a of fight? I don't even know what would have saved us there. Oh, that was tough. That was a good game, though. Yeah, at least it was a freaking contest there, unlike earlier when we were getting handcuffed. Like, uh, do I keep this? Because uh, we have a lot of green. Um, Voracious Hydra isn't going to really be able to uh, get Mondrek, though. <clears throat> Damn. Might keep seven there. I... I... I, I just really want the top deck land. Um, Vorinclex might be okay against their commander because if they wait too long to get the uh, indestructible counter on their boy. The problem is that I really don't have much to do until turn three. You know what? Honestly, that gives us anything to do this turn. <clears throat> I take that a hundred bazillion percent. We probably want Jugan defends the temple here, so that way we can get a uh, a bigger voracious Hydra and uh, kill their vor their um, Mondrak when it enters the field, right? <clears throat> <sighs> so that's what we'll do. We 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 need the land though, like need, because <clears throat> we need to be able to hit this X equals three. Come on, for, please, 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 help me out here. Oh, God, thank the good freaking heavens. Um, yes, submit. Thank the good heavens. So we get one nice hit on Mondrak here. <laughs> and we thank our freaking lucky stars for it, too. X equals three. It'll enter with an additional plus one, plus one counter, thanks to hardened scales. It fights target creature we don't control. Wow, that... They, wow. Wow. Thank goodness gracious, man. Wow, we even got that. That's actually not bad. <clears throat> Alright, how exactly are we going to do this, though? <clears throat> what do we do? Do I get, like, Nissa involved? They could kill Nissa really easily by going wide. I think it might have to be Vor and Klex and then maybe Fight Rigging. Uh, it could be Yorvo and then Fight Rigging, honestly. Because <clears throat> we can activate Fight Rigging right away. <clears throat> Which really isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, is it the Ozolith or is it Vivian Reed destroying Wedding? And yeah, it's probably Vivian Reed. I think we need to get rid of wedding announcement. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. <clears throat> no one said restoration was painless. <clears throat> so we got pretty fortunate with our top decks. 
Dude's looking really good too, not gonna lie. Like he's doing very well. He got the nice discount uh, right there. Uh, so we get to block most of those. Um, one. And we lose Vivian. <clears throat> it happens. They'll, yeah, they'll sacrifice some of those tokens to uh, give Mondrek indestructible. That's good stuff. <clears throat> That's good. Yep, well done. Yep, bye-bye, Vivian. Too bad, but hey, that Nykthos is really good right there. So I think we can uh, drop Evolute. How do we do this? Can I drop Evolution Sage, then drop Nykthos, then drop Vorinclex? I, ha I have to do it in that order, I think. Because then I, I at least get the... Um, I at least get the pro, um, landfall proliferate. <clears throat> um, we I don't know how much I can do here, so I think we can pay one. Honestly, yeah. Let's let's take the action. Let's pay one. Because then it um it also proliferates here, right? Yeah, we'll proliferate everything. Now we drop Vorinclex. Alright, so he didn't have too good of an answer there, because, yeah, what we were going to do was drop Vorinclex, Yorvo was going to get uh, a little bigger, right, because it was going to get, what, four plus one plus one counters on it for Vorinclex entering. Oh, wow, that was going to be pretty darn good. And then, of course, Fight Rigging on Vorinclex. Oh, wow, okay, wow, we, thank goodness, dude got out of there. Not going to lie, was taking a moment. But in my defense, like, I I, I really wanted to get Vorinclex down and then the Evolution Sage, but, yeah. Whatever. We did it. We, we actually got two good contests in a row instead of steamrolling people and then just being completely handcuffed and unable to do anything. So I'll take an actual contest. Oh, thank you, Nino. Thank you, Nino. Yeah, you know, I really enjoy this deck. Um... It, it, it's got some freaking fun cards, man. Hardened Scales, like we just saw there. The little enchantment, one coster. Um, if you would put uh, one or more plus one, plus one counters on a creature, you put that many plus one. I love that thing, man. The fact that it costs like one. We actually, do, do we just top deck the Ozolith there? That's a really fun enchant or artifact there. Honestly, it's a little wordy, and I don't remember exactly what it does, but basically, like, if our creatures with counters leave the battlefield, it takes those counters off of those creatures, and you put them on the Ozolith, and then at your next combat, you get to take those counters and put them back onto something else, which is really nice with Vorinclex, um, because you, like, double the counters, so that's really cool. Do we keep this? I think so. I think we keep this. Yeah, the... Poor guy. I mean, I know that I was taking a moment there, but... He saw the writing on the wall, man. It was green, it was big, and yeah, it, it freaking slapped him. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how it is, man. Um, we probably want Gala Greeters here. Because if we are fortunate enough to top deck the land, um, we can get Toski onto the field. And if we don't top deck the land, we can go... Um, Eh, I think Ranger class is better, and then make the uh, treasure. It could be this, but I don't know. I don't want to go too far out into a wipe. As I, you know, of course expect this deck to run several wipes. Okay, that guy just passed his turn. Oh, what fun. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to drop something that he can't counter. Hopefully we actually get the swing in here. Um, we're going to put the plus one, plus one counter just in case he happens to flash in that, like, one, one. I, the treasure token would have been better. It, it was just for a silly edge case emergency, which didn't happen, of course. Yeah, the pest token's definitely good there. Um, all right. We are going... Um, <clears throat> Ranger class. We're hitting the uh, plus one plus one counter on Gala Greeters. We're hitting this, the Blizzard Brawl on uh, this. And now our boy gets indestructible too. So it will not be blocked. Uh, do we do this or do we attack with more creatures? I think we do this because I don't want to lose the elf. Attack. We'll put the counter on Toski. <coughs> Start getting it out of Meat Hook Massacre's range. 
Okay, but that has uh, indestructible. Nevertheless, you know, they're preventing more damage there. And we get the card, which is all it is up against control. I don't know if this deck is exactly control, but I see blue and black, so... Okay, Ravenous Chupacabra, good. Yeah, it gets rid of Gala Greeters, that's annoying. We'll use Voracious Hydra to uh, clear the way to draw a bunch of cards. Uh, can we do... Hang on, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana. We could do this for X equals 2 and then drop the Ozolith. Do I want to drop the Ozolith? Or do I want to get the swing in with Elvish Mystic? I want to get the swing in with Elvish Mystic. Yeah, we're not dropping Ozolith. <clears throat> more cards. Uh, on Toski, keeping it uh, as... Uh, well, I mean, they could do Meat Hook for three next turn, but... Alright, we'll go ahead and drop the land. <clears throat> nice that we actually got a land there. Toski's doing some serious lifting here, because we would probably be just about empty-handed without all those draws. I love this little booger boy. Alright, they still have two mana for a wash away. I'm still going to try the Vorinclex play. Because it could just win us the game. So we're still trying it. <clears throat> okay, it looks like it probably gets countered. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, for the record, Vorinclex was going to accept two plus one plus one counters, so that was going to be all of this plus eight. So, yeah, that was probably going to be lethal. Toski. Toski, man. Even if they wiped, at least we would have a bunch of cards to rebuild with. Oh, gosh, Toski's great. And then, if they didn't have an exile wipe, right, Toski actually lives to continue drawing us cards. Oh, gosh. Wow, dude, he, poor guy was probably handcuffed uh, a little bit there. I mean, once he hit that sign with blood on his last turn, you know, instead of, like, doing something with, what was it? Was it four or five mana that he had at that point? Right? Like, he could have dropped the commander. I Honestly, I don't remember exactly what the commander does, so I don't know if that would have been the best play. But nevertheless, like, you know, like, starting that turn by drawing like that, it, it felt desperate. And thank you, Nino. Oh, gosh, we're up against another Vorinclex? Cool, it's actually a a bit more mirror matchups than I usually get. Um, I don't know if we can keep this one. Although the Blizzard Brawl and Tail Swipe is actually going to be really good up against their Mana Dork. So I honestly, I think we're going to try this one. Oh, gosh. Hardened Scales. Well, that is a very good start by them. Uh, I think we'll go Carryton. And then next turn, we can go Scavenging Ooze into one of our fights. Well, in that case, I'm going Beast. Caller. <clears throat> we'll swing for one whole entire damage. Alright, good. We get, to, uh, we get to nuke one of their um, things. That's very good. So we drop this to get the plus one, plus one counter. Then we'll fight. Uh, I think we'll attack with both instead of using Scavenging Ooze right now to take that out of the graveyard. <clears throat> Alright, um, I think Yorvo's probably the play here. Yeah, that poor guy was freaking handcuffed, man. What he really needed was that on the field so he could drop Vorinclex and then not attack. Wow, okay, it worked out. It worked out, man. Although, not gonna lie, like... Doing nothing until turn three really sucked for him. His only saving grace there was that he went first. Did Wait, did he go first? No, we went first. Never mind. I I don't know, man. I think he, he picked the wrong hand there. I mean, he went second. Yeah, he went second. 
And he had nothing to do until turn three. Oof. Oof, poor guy. I mean, I often, um, you know, get into games with the wrong hand, too. Oof, poor guy. Oh, Big Fat MTG, King of Green, thank you. Oh, yes, I'm the king of the illiterate, big, fat, stupid, idiot green players who don't like reading the cards. I did it, guys. Oh. Oh, congratulations. I deserve it. Thank you, Nino. You know, we deserve it. You deserve me. I deserve you. Thank you for being here. If anybody's out there, if you haven't liked the stream already, uh, that would very much help it get out to more people. So uh, thank you so much for that. Do we keep this? I think not. We only have two lands, no ramp. I, I, uh, damn it, I wanted to keep that hand, man. You know, we actually go first here and have Vivian down. I'm keeping it. And we don't really think that all of our ramp is actually going to survive, but, like, we're going to try, gosh darn it, okay? Because if we can get a quick Vivian, that's actually really good. And now we get that down, so if they kill um, one of our ramp thingies, we can still drop Forest Vivian. Which is actually pretty nuts, because we'll drop Vivian Reed when they have two lands on the field, which doesn't feel fair. But we did get a, uh, you know, we got a very uh, fast but glass cannony start. But nevertheless, Vivian Reed is a, uh, a nice payoff for this uh, very fast, and once again, very glass cannony start. We have five permanents on the field and not a lot of cards in hand. Yep, they kill one of them. That's why we're so happy to have two redundant backups there. Oh, Vivian Queen. God. Absolutely right, dude. It's actually such a queen. Okay, what 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 are you doing? Oh, you may discard up to X cards. God, could they make it in a harder to read font? And they don't even put like a one pixel border around it so you can actually freaking read it. Vivian, actually a queen. We're going to get this, just so that we have a, uh, a blocker next turn for Vivian, should they, like, start killing stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. That's not enough to do Silverback into this. I think at that point, we might offer them our commander. Can you please not kill Vivian? Please no. Please don't kill Vivian. Alright, and hopefully that's your whole turn. Pretty please. I guess we're going Silverback Elder. As long as we keep taking up Vivian. Eventually, we if we get the emblem off, that's the greatest thing in the universe. Uh this. Give him stuff to worry about. There you go. That might only serve the purpose of delaying their uh, commander further, but honestly, if I can drop Vorinclex next turn and then plus Vivian to get her up to 9, that's actually so good. We're doing this so that they don't get the card filtering. Love to see it. Now we plus Vivian. She's got nine, which is amazing because we could uh, ult her and still keep her on the field. Uh, we're not attacking with either, um, just because I need to protect Vivian here. And if they want to attack Vivian, they have to invest bigly. And I understand why some of you might be saying, why didn't you attack with Vorinclex? You might be right, okay? But I want them to be only be able to touch Vivian if they empty their freaking hand out of kill spells for both of them. Yep, there's one, thank you, and they had to tap out for it, so now they can't get at Vivian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, hypothetical person who didn't believe. God, you love it. You, God, I love it. 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 Uh, this too. For the record, that emblem, creatures you control, plus two, plus two, vigilance, trample, indestructible, and they can still exile, of course. 
but let's not lie. We feel a, a nice blanket of security with the indestructible. Liliana of the Veil. So what? We'll get rid of the Horn Beetle. I don't care. Oh, he made a fifth card a card. This guy's really good. You don't even know what you're going to discard. And you knew you were going to play that. All right, they just want the um, treasure token. That's fine. They knew they were suiciding. Not a silly play. Gets them their um, commander if they want, and then they can maybe concede. So our stuff gets trample, right? Vigilance, trample, indestructible. We have um, how much? Um, 9, 17. So we don't actually have lethal here. Which means we are playing it. Sorry. Um, Oran Refuse feels good. Uh, target a creature I control. It, I mean, arguably, it could have been something else. That was actually silly. I, I think I actually screwed up there. That was my bad. I should have had the lethal there. That was my bad. Uh, so we'll attack uh, Liliana just because she's annoying. Uh, you and you attack you. You attack that. I think I screwed up with the Oran Refus. My bad. I should have put the counter on uh, Oran Clex there. Whatever. Luck favors the foolish, after all. Wow, poor guy. You're slapping him around. Uh, you know what? We are going Cultivate, because he's running Crucius. Bandwagon Commander, just inserting the cards that you need into your hand instead of having you play the game. We're, we're doing it. We're going. <clears throat> we're going for it. Although, if it gets back to our turn and he doesn't concede, I will just mash the space bar. I don't want to be a dick. I, I do want to assert the dominance just a little bit, because I'm not insecure. I don't need to do that, but... <clears throat> yeah, he can go ahead and drop his shield. That's real cute. There you go. Out the door. Oh, God. I'm not going to lie, though. That's too poor guy. He must have saw that top deck and been like, damn it. Like, what a great card. <clears throat> damn. Vivian Reed, boys and girls. Vivian Reed. Look at that, man. Look at that. Freaking Vivian Reed. We got her. We got her. We, we didn't... We had to work for the emblem. We didn't drop her after Vorinclex, unfortunately. God. Oh, thank you. God. You, you said it, man. Vivian Reed, queen. And damn, if she didn't just rule that whole entire game, huh? Wow, man. Wow, dude. And we ulted her and kept her. That's so good, dude. We got her to 9 instead of 8 so that we could minus 8 her. Oh, God, that's so good. Wow. Yeah, she... God, she actually carried freaking everything. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Wow. What what an opening hand, too, huh? It feels like freaking cheating. We got Vivian out turn 3, and we went first. Do I keep this hand? Because cause I know that it has two lands, but look at it. Damn it. Damn it. I, the longer I look at it, the, the more likely I am to keep it. It's like, you know, like the longer you hear, like the longer you spend at a grocery store, the more likely you are to buy more things. I don't know. I just feel like the longer I stare at these cards, the, uh, the more likely I am to buy them. Thank you for tolerating the stupid analogy, but... I think it mildly works, you know. Can you not? Do you have to kill it? Good card there. Two instant speed, destroy target non-legendary creature. Very, very good. We'll go with this one. I think, yeah. Feels good. Are you going to kill that too? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well played. Well played. Yeah. Definitely want to kill that. Good stuff. Uh, let's see. How are we doing this, boys? How are we doing this? Oran Reef Ooze, fight this. Yeah, because I can't do this for X equals 2 and fight this. This needs to survive the damage in order to uh, get bigger. So go ahead. Put the plus one, plus one counter on it. Tail swipe. Boom, boom. Bada bing. 
It gets plus one, plus one. Unfortunately, we can't attack. You know what? Whatever. Yeah, it... Yeah, uh, yeah. You're right, man. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Spells you cast that target a creature cost two less to cast... Oh, God. You're just freaking removal. God, I hate your removal, tribal. I hate you. And he got Fire Exiting Arena down. God, that sucks. That really sucks. That really sucks. Um, how are we going to do this here? How are we going to do this? Maybe this for X equals 4. And then attack. It's really too bad that he has this out. Because he's just going to go removal tribal. I'm probably conceding within the minute if this gets too bad. Because like... We don't have repeatable card advantage like maybe Guardian Project or something here. Does this have stupid death touch? Oh, it has menace. Okay, I was like, why are you attacking? Yeah, we're probably about done here. I mean, we can get Vorinclex down. But, like, they're playing freaking removal tribal with... And they have Phyrexian Arena. Like, you know? Like, are we feeling super good about that? I actually want Horn Beetle and then Ranger Class Level 2. All right, that'll be our turn, and yeah, just kill everything is pretty much the name of the game here. So, once again, I, I'm not going to sit here and bang my head against the wall. And I would encourage any of my viewers, like, it's your free time. Are you sadistic or whatever the one is where you like not having a good time? You know? Like, you don't have to, like, actually sit here and play these people just because some neckbeards on the internet will cry, you know? Like... You don't have to do it. And that's Kai the Inexorable. Yeah, great game. Time of my life. Bye-bye. Did I have fun in the match? You faced me up against freaking Removal Tribal. But I'm not... I'm not... I'm ne never answering that question, man. Did I have fun so you could take it away and freaking charge me for it? Oh, gosh. No. I'm talking to you. What better deals in the store? Like, you, you want me to give you valuable data, but you can't even give me a decent deal in the store's daily deals on, like, you know, styles for cards that don't even exist. It's not even the card that doesn't exist. It's the style that doesn't exist for the card that doesn't exist. You can't even give me that, but you want me to freely give you data? Oh, my God. So arrogant. Um, probably, f mm, probably free. Oh, Hillbilly. Hell yeah. What's going on, man? Nice to have you, sir. Let's go, Hillbilly. Good to see you. I think we probably should keep this. Oh, I'm up against Liliana of the Veil. Oh, fuck that loser. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get the hell out of here. Hell no. <laughs> sorry, I, I, I'm sorry, boys and girls. I value my free time. I'm not playing that garbage just because he wants me to. Remember, boys and girls. Vampires can't really... They don't like sucking the blood of other vampires. They like warm-blooded people like you and me. You don't have to give them their blood just because they'll... Or your blood just because they'll cry. Let them cry, man. That's good. That's like counter-vampiring them. That's awesome. That's the best. That's what it's all about. <clears throat> Strong... Because you're, you're controlling them. Right? That that's the ultimate control strategy is just picking your opponent. No thank you. It's just so it's such a mighty card that you can play. Concede, right in the middle of the screen. You don't need to waste your time just because they want to ruin your time. I'd much rather face Niv Mizzet. Honestly, it's kind of interesting. <clears throat> Let's go. We go first. That is an invaluable advantage. We're going <clears> to <throat> thank our stars. Uh, beautiful forest into Mindstone. Phenomenal that we got the land top deck there. <clears throat> Once again, thanking said lucky stars. I'm feeling Renata here. I mean, I could also be feeling Ranger class and then power it up. I'm kind of feeling Renata. Because if it doesn't die, and it only has three toughness, so, you know, lightning bolt. 
strike. But like we could get this Ranger class token to enter with a plus one plus one counter because each other creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter and that is good. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's what we do. Although arguably Gwenna might have been better there. Uh, wow, I pressed spacebar a lot there. Okay, finally registered. All right, we get her up to four toughness, which is nice, because hopefully they have to invest at least a two-mana spell into her, which probably doesn't matter. Uh, if they do nothing and pass turn, we start by attacking. Hour of Devastation. Okay, well. <clears throat> when a pass turn. We've got Vivian, who is beautiful, um, but we need another land. <laughs> or maybe at least two <laughs> more devotion to uh, green. Uh, we have to snakeskin veil that. <clears throat> Force them to invest in it. Looks like they have a counter. That Go ahead, buddy. Oh, wow. Impulse. Okay, so... We really want the top deck land because he actually dug for the counter. All right, he didn't find it. <clears throat> um, Why don't we start by attacking? Do I play Vorinclex and get that countered and then do Vivian Reed? I honestly think so. Um, well, actually, I kind of just screwed up a little bit. Um, maybe we should just go Vivian Reed. But she probably gets countered, right? Doesn't she probably get countered? Do you think that they wanted witness protection on that? Do you think Vivian Reed resolves? I'm honestly going to go for it. Oh my god, it actually resolved. Well, the first thing we're going to do is look at the size of their graveyard. Um, do we do search for Azkanta here? <clears throat> yeah. Let's get rid of it, because it does deny them a scry. I can't believe Vivian resolved. <clears throat> I genuinely cannot believe it. <clears throat> if I didn't see it with me own eyes. <clears throat> Alright, dude isn't even dropping his commander. So. Yeah, if Vivian dies, that, that's the problem with minusing her right away. It happens. <clears throat> We're going to try for Vorinclex, see if it actually resolves. Oh, sh no, why, why wouldn't you tap that? Why wouldn't you tap that? Why wouldn't you tap that? All right, it gets Essence scattered. He's down to one card. <clears throat> why would you not tap that? Why? The good news is that now it's really big. 6-7 <clears throat> is pretty darn good. Dude just straight passes, geek. <laughs> All right, geek. Um, <clears throat> you know what? Counter that. You gotta counter that. You either gotta counter that, or you gotta uh, you gotta bounce her. Yep, gotta counter that. There you go, that was Vorinclex's counter. I think that was a better use of it. Now they probably have to get their commander on the field, or Rivers Rebuke, or Burn Gwenna, because, well, even if they burn Gwenna, they still gotta deal with Vorinclex. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, super duper force their hand by playing Vorinclex, see what's going on there. And then we'll just swing in for victory. Once again, I didn't tap this, which I should have. That was silly of me. <laughs> that was your last card? Nice. Couldn't even let me swing. Nice. Alright, boys and girls. Wow, how do you play control and just have games like that? Like, I don't know. Like, that... What? Even when you win, it's miserable. And then when you lose, it's like double mid. How do you even play... How do you do that over and over again, dude? 
I, I mean, I know it's different strokes for different folks, and, like, I'm just a stupid, you know, green mid-range player, but, like, Jesus, dude. How do you do that? Over and over again. I, I'd try it once, maybe even twice. The commander's actually cool. I actually think that's a freaking cool commander. Oh, he, yeah, he died, dude. <clears throat> he freaking died. He, he died, he died, he died. I like how he left open his fabled passage, too, for so long. Like, why, you're such a great player, dude. You're the mightiest mage in all the freaking planes. Like, you, you left your fabled passage open, so that way you could you could choose the mana at the last second when you really know what you need. Like, what are you, a freaking the biggest geek in the world? Like, dude, come on, dude. You needed red mana. I saw the imbalance there. Just, just, just go get red. It's okay. Like, you don't have to be the mightiest blue mage in all the land all the time. It's not impressive. Now, the big green stupid idiot just beat you, so really you're just making yourself feel like the mightiest mage, and you're not. You're not. You're, you're a guy in a poorly crafted cosplay wizard robe. Oh, God. Thank you, Nina. We deserve it. We really do deserve it. Jix. Holy poopoos. Jix is actually so good. Jix is actually so good that I don't know if we can keep this. Don't we need, like, a fight or something? Jix is so good. I mean, the Armored Scrap Gorger is, like, decent against him, but the only problem is it doesn't actually have a payoff into a 4-cost... Or a 3 cost plus a 1 cost. Yeah, Jix is wildly good, my dude. Um, ah, Fine, we'll, we'll freaking keep... Say it. It's going to be fast. I'm, I'm very happy with that, with Jix. Like, you don't stand a chance. But, blink and you miss it, man. Really powerful aggro deck. Alright. Um, I mean, Ranger class is alright. This is alright. I'm kind of thinking this, though. Looks like they held open a two-mana kill spell. Pretty obviously there. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't really matter either way. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll freaking need it, my dude, because <laughs> we're getting our butts whooped here. But you know what? It's going to be fast, and then we'll go on to the next one, so. And we're not making it level 2 here. Um, it looks like they have a uh, kill spell. Maybe it's like Blood Chief's Thirst, Fatal Push or something. Because they have the Mox Amber Man in. They're freaking out over here with their cards. Jesus, dude even got Lolf. Well, since he's tapped out, I will double block Jick, so he probably only attacks with the one. Alright, what am I going to do? Am I going to drop Vivian Arcbow Ranger and uh, maybe kill Loth? Because Loth is, like, so good that it's not even funny. Um, we could also plus Vivian, um, right? Give the counters here, and then it would only be taking probably one. And it would be taking five, so that's actually not it. Yeah, thank you for waiting for me here as I, act, as I show you how stupid I am. Um, we're, we probably just freaking lose, honestly. <clears throat> Let's go, Vivian. Close your eyes, breathe, and listen to the sounds of the wild. Let's kill Lolf. <clears throat> um, what is the Planeswalker? Let me bring it up there. Yeah, Lolf is extremely, <clears throat> extremely babemily good. Card advantage helps out with the field. Really nice if you are running wipes and Lolf because you like you kill your stuff a decent amount of which are tokens, you know, and then you just freaking rebuild super easily. This Lolf Planeswalker is extremely good. <clears throat> oh, and at my planeswalker. Sorry if you were talking about that one here. Uh, this one who was dead. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much dead. I don't think I need to waste too much more time here because we're not going to actually build up um, 
a uh, board presence here, and they're just loading up on kill spells, so we can just go ahead and uh, cut it short. I honestly probably tripled the time that that, did, uh, <laughs> that one needed to take by uh, actually thinking through the play. But yeah, that Vivian Planeswalker we have is pretty nice, because right, it distributes plus one, plus one counters. If we have Vorinclex out or any of our plus one, plus one counter enhancers... Um, then you can actually get some really nice plus one, plus one counters by uh, putting one on each target creature, right? And then it has that minus three ability. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control, which is kind of nice because, like, I have some... All my other interaction is fight spells in this deck. Um, and, uh, well, the, the weakness of fight spells is that uh, death touch creatures. <laughs> yeah. So it's nice because, like, for example, earlier on we fought that guy with Worm Coil Engine. So the fights aren't as good against that, of course. <clears throat> um, do I keep this? Do I keep this? I might not be able to keep this. Because it's entirely dependent on top decks. And I like this, but like Garrick's Uprising doesn't have an immediate payoff. This... I think I have to freaking mulligan that. <clears throat> we'll keep it. Let me bring up this um, creature. I love this creature. So, so, so very much. Um, whenever one or more plus one, plus one counters are put on non-Hydra creatures you control, um, this thing gets a plus one, plus one counter. So, like, imagine that with things like Defile or a Vigor. That put a plus one, plus one plus one um counter on each one of your creatures, like repeatedly. Pretty wild. <clears throat> Pretty wild stuff. What do we do here? Probably scavenging ooze and Lanoir Elves, so that way we can maybe drop Toski next turn. Even if we don't get a land. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this one, because you can, like, set this down at X equals 1, and then, like, before you know it, it'll be, like, it'll be, like, coming up on 20. You know, it's, it's actually a pretty insane card. Uh, I think this for X equals 2. Because <clears throat> I think that they might block Scavenging Ooze. And um, <clears throat> Scavenging Ooze is extremely good with this card here. So, like, next turn I could drop this if I had to for, like, X equals 2, right? Pay 3 mana. Use the last green to uh, use Scavenging Ooze. Take this out of their graveyard. This gets a plus 1, plus 1 counter. Then this gets a plus 1, plus 1 counter. Yeah, this is actually really cool. And it's, like, an uncommon. <clears throat> um, okay, that's pretty interesting that we got that. Um, I still think we're going to drop this at X equals now. Um, hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, um, so this is X equals 3. Now we'll go ahead and we'll attack with the Scavenging Ooze. <clears throat> because if they want to block with their commander, that's going to make it pretty expensive. We'll go ahead and get the extra damage in here. We'll uh, take the uh, creature out of their graveyard. <clears throat> Growing scavenge or Wildwood Scourge in the... Gosh, I love this card. <clears throat> I love this card. And granted, we do have one Hydra here, but it's done getting plus one, plus one counters when it enters, so... It's fine. <clears throat> what I really want to do is get Toski down. Um, although, if I have to, like, I can do um, Garrick's Uprising. Now that we control a creature with power four or greater, when this enters the uh, battlefield, we'll draw a card. And the creatures we control having Trample is not bad, especially since uh, I would like to kill this Planeswalker. It has one loyalty. Can we get it? Can we get it? Do we want the card, or do we want the Toski here? I think we want this, because it gives Trample. A card draw engine while they're tapped out. Let's go ahead. Uh, one, uh, two, right at that. Uh, I think that's good, right? Yeah, I'm feeling good about that. <clears throat> Arguably, I could send this in too. Yeah, I think we will. Just so that that could catch the block from uh, Azuri there. They might just take all the damage. Yeah. 
I have other students to observe. I think it's good to get rid of this one because it has a plus two ability. It gives all their other planeswalkers that plus two ability, which, you know, it's only scry one, but like now they're plus one or maybe even zero planeswalkers. You know, now they have a plus two ability and they can get to their ultimate like uh, roughly twice as fast. That's extremely good. <clears throat> okay. And no creatures. Sorry, right? Okay, yeah. I think we just empty their library anyway. Or their graveyard, whatever. Whatever it's called. <clears throat> okay, uh, does this have any weird things going on? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> They're going to draw a card when they proliferate here, which is very, very nice for them. Yep, very nice, very nice. Okay, that came in tapped, so they still have one blue mana for Wash Away. I don't even know if we're going to play uh, <clears throat> Warren Clex. I think Toski might be better. I know where to find all the answers. We're just going to empty their uh, graveyard real fast. <clears throat> I don't want them getting anything back ever. Green does have cards to bring their stuff back from a grave, so. Uh, we're feeling Toski here? I'm feeling Toski. <clears throat> Alright. Move to combat. This attacks that, and we get big cards. All right, we got a land. It enters tapped, so maybe it'll be more useful as a plus one, plus one counter. M maybe not. Um, Vorinclex isn't super useful next turn, since we're not really going to get plus one, plus one counters on stuff. It would be most useful to uh, get Garrick's Uprising and a, uh, a card out of Toski. <laughs> this thing now doesn't untap. Honestly, I kind of like that they put this on that. Also takes away one of their, uh, you know, one of their uh, uselessifying enchantments. Witness protection on Toski. That sucks. That definitely sucks. So at least we got some cards out of Toski, but like. Uh, Hmm, what are we going to do here? Um, that seems pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, do they have any... No. Um, I mean, we could just drop Vor and Klex and then go big at them. Because they, they have to invest into this one. And we have the plus 1, plus 1 counter card, which I'm okay with. So that could go on Vor and Klex, and that's already 8 damage that they have to deal with. And right... Oh, shit! I freaking attacked with the Llanowar Elves. That was stupid. That was dumb. That was really stupid. Damn it. That was the whole freaking point. I just mashed spacebar. Okay, that was really dumb. Looks like they live right now because they're only taking 9 damage as of right now. Yeah, I really screwed up by not, uh... Damn it, dude. Oh, god, that, that hurts. That hurts. That was my bad. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, god. I just freaking pressed spacebar and it attacked with the land of war elves. That was dumb. Uh, well, we'll discard probably that one. Ah, damn it. In control of target, and they made a copy of it? 
I think we're probably good here. We'll take a look at our top deck, but I don't exactly... Oh, okay, at least they lost the copy. Okay, so the top copy is legendary. That's at least good. But, like, we, we uh, are not going to be able to make our plus one, plus one counters with fight rigging. I don't think we would have won last, last time anyway. I don't... Maybe we would have. I think we would have destroyed more creatures. Maybe we would have won, honestly. Yeah, uh, Nino, I, uh, I I wish we had this. Nino, I don't know if we have this one. God, I wish we... I can't even play this because, remember, the Saga is going to come in without the uh, enchantment. Yeah, I think we just lose, honestly. I, what can I do? Like this? I can't put plus one, plus one counters on my creatures to get a surprise, like, you know, lethal damage in. They have more than enough blockers right now. I think we're pretty much done, unfortunately. Look, everything gets muted by our Vorinclex. I think we're pretty much good here. Very unfortunate, but I, I don't think there's freaking anything to do. Even if I had a fight spell in hand, I can't get down big Vorinclex um, to be the biggest thing on the field and then fight our Vorinclex. Oh, wow. Well done by them. Damn, dude. Damn. That muted freaking everything. Yeah, that's a... Vorinclex here is a great commander for them to steal. That was very well done. Very well done. I I mean, I wish I didn't screw up the play before. I don't think we would have won, but I think we would have demolished their field. Because we did have the combat trick. Damn it, dude. Oh, that one felt bad. I'm going to try to move on with my day, but that one felt bad. Th I appreciate it, Nino. Thank you for the... Uh, Thank you for the morale boost, because, damn, that was, uh, oof. damn, man, <laughs> that was brutal. I don't think we could keep this hand. It's a Troxa, so we'll just make it as soon as possible, because, I mean, as quick as possible, because it's a waste of time unless you're ready to mute its enter to the battlefield via, like, you know, um, Elish Norn. The new Elish Norn is extremely good for that, um, or just, you know, plain old counter spells. Since it's a, uh, a very um, expensive commander, <laughs> you know when it's coming. You know, they're going to ramp up to it. They're not going to have much in hand. So, yeah, I feel like blue gets a great matchup against this, and a lot of my decks don't. Which is why I view it as a waste of time, because it's, it's monotonous. Um, Probably scavenging ooze and then attack. Yeah, if we can get to Nissa, that will be nice. We do have to top deck some lands, though. I'm just, I'm sorry, but I've, I'm already bored with the Troxa. <laughs> Jesus, dude. The fight. Oh yeah, I, God, I can't wait until I get that card, man. Yeah, that's gonna be a whole lot of fun. I can't wait, man. Um. Honestly, we're going to drop this for X equals uh, 2, I think. Because it'll survive a board wipe, as, and it'll come as an X equals 1. We could just get wiped this turn. Um, and so I could do Hungering Hydra, but if I can't get into Nyssa and then Vorinclex, that's pretty much it. And they seek a card with mana value equal to the number of lands you control. So that could be a wipe right there. A lot of four mana wipes. Um, so, oof, I don't even know if I want to put anything onto the field right now. Do they make creatures? No, just that. Um, I think that Goreclaw pretty much just dies to a freaking wipe. So I think we pretty much just attack here. Jesus Christ, you geek. Alright, Swords to Plowshare. So that would have happened to Goreclaw. I, I kind of feel a little better about dropping Goreclaw here because of that. Like, I, I don't know why they would go through the trouble of uh, Swords to Plowshares in a 2-2 two -two if they're just going to wipe next turn. Like, it's just a 2-2. Two -two. That probably hits Goreclaw. So 
So if we get a land here, um, that's Nissa. If we don't, I'll probably play Hungering Hydra. That's good. I still think it might be Hungering Hydra here. What we really need is the uh, the freaking land that we didn't get it. So this for X equals three. And we're really not feeling good about this one. Like we we are winning in life total, but that's about it. They have a nice amount of cards in hand, and they're about to draw Troxa. So card advantage is huge. Theirs. Yeah, now I'm kind of sitting here like my Vorinclex is going to enter and not even be the biggest thing. And I could go ahead and attack with Vorinclex and then maybe get the Snakeskin Veil off in, in what, three turns, two turns? But yeah, well, we're pretty much going to do nothing at this point. So let's just take a look at our top deck. But Nissa just dies immediately to this. So we, we're not going to do anything. Let's just leave. It, it's, it's, it, it's over. It, it's fine. We don't have an established draw engine like a Guardian Project would probably be good. Um, Garrick's Uprising would be good. Toski would probably not be good since we'd have to attack in and give them fat lifelink and all. Oh, what is Atroxa? Um, so it's huge. It costs like 7, and it's a 7-7 seven, seven with Flying, Vigilance, Trample, um... Is it Death Touch? It doesn't have Life Link. I don't remember. It has four good keywords, okay? And like when it enters the battlefield, um, they they look at the top like ten cards of the of their library or whatever it is, and for like each card type, you know, like creature, land, planeswalker, etc., they get to reveal or they get to put one of those cards into their hand. So, like, it's huge card advantage. So they just run a whole bunch of kill spells for your stuff. And then when they exhaust their kill spells, they go one-for-one one removal. You know, both of your hands are low, but then they draw a whole lot of stuff with their commander, and you don't. Um, I don't think we can keep this one. As nice as it is, this needed to be a Lanoir Elf for this hand to be good. Unfortunately, we can't just do that. I think this is actually much better. Um, Yorvo plays pretty nicely with uh, Nykthos Counting Devotion. Unfortunately, we can't do too much this turn, so we'll go ahead and swing in for one whole entire damage. It's next to nothing, but you know what? It isn't nothing. We did it. <clears throat> That's unfortunate, so I don't think we can do um, <clears throat> Garrick's Uprising, so we'll go ahead and do Yorvo. And now we can attack. I'm assuming they're not blocking that. That's good that they blocked that because that would destroy Garrick's Uprising. Hopefully we can get a few cards out of it. <clears throat> That's actually pretty good that they blocked it. Not even going to lie. That's actually really good that they blocked. <clears throat> Alright, we'll go ahead and attack there. Yeah. Hey, yeah, it's a great card. It really nice. I mean, if you can flip that thing over the nighttime and get an attack in, that's actually super good. All right, not going to lie, the Halan and Elena does suck, but if we can get Vorinclex down and have the number of plus one, plus one counters they put on things, that is a victory. Um, not going to lie, I probably should have dropped Nykthos there, but we only have four Devotion, so it's a little bit of cope, but it, it's the exact same thing. Next turn, it'll make a difference. Uh, we are doing this now, just so that we can keep our stuff a little further out of burn range. Mmm. <clears throat> oh. Wow. Wow, dude, we ramped it up in that one. Wow. Man, that Defiler top deck. Um, Defiler Vigor is a really good card, and this is a really nice deck for it. Oh, gosh. But you know what? It actually feels so good when you have a one-cost green permanent after you tap out for Defile or Vigor, and you can still play it for two life and get the round of plus one, plus one counters once again while tapped out. 
actually feels good. For me, obviously it didn't feel good for him, but that is pretty awesome. It was actually also extremely good that he blocked our uh, one drop with his uh, thing that could have destroyed Garrick's uprising. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he was smart to be scared, though, not going to lie. Like, he got the hell out of town. That's a, uh, that's a smart guy. <laughs> Thank you, Nino. Yeah, good game. He's uh, Wow, we, uh, we did a good job there. That was all right. <laughs> uh, we're going to go uh, Mystic into... Is it into Mindstone Ranger class? Probably should be, right? Instead of this thing. Oh, yeah. The Slivers deck is nothing to mess around with. Nothing to mess around with. I just hope that he's not running the control uh, version. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, just just hope. Please not control. Uh, let's see, we have one, two, three, four mana to mess around with. I don't think it's uh, that thing. I think it's probably uh, probably Selvala, honestly. Probably Selvala. No, let's just swing. Oh yeah, it, they snowball actually so fast. That's that. Yeah, it's probably the perfect word for it, dude. It's, uh, the other day, I don't remember how long ago it was, but I had somebody like cascade, like get like a, a four times cascade of slivers. It was pretty nutty. And he just like swung in for victory right there. And good for him. You know, it was pretty freaking awesome. But like, oh gosh, dude. I whooped the heck out of me. Not even going to lie. He whooped my candy rear end. Um, is that Nissa or is that Vorinclex? Are we feeling Vorinclex here? Because we could be feeling Nissa as well. I guess it's Boring Flex. I get a card out of uh, Selvala. That's good. Okay. They dropped the first sliver. Please don't wipe the board. Okay, he gets a card. From Selvala. That's definitely good. One mana is not going to give him a super great cascade. That's pretty good because he takes Nissa out of our hand. And I would love to get Nissa here. What exactly does this give it? Have whenever it's dealt damage. It deals that much damage to target. That's annoying. That's definitely annoying. But um, let's see. How are we going to do this? Um, we have Selvala, which will tap for a decent amount of mana. Um, we could do this. We're not attacking with Sylvala, so... Uh, that's not really it, to be perfectly honest. Um, why don't we go ahead and attack with Vorinclex? Um, I think we'll uh, offer them the opportunity to uh, double block it. I highly doubt they will. They'll probably block it with the 2-2. Two -two. Which is actually good, because since we have Trample, we're only going to deal it 2 damage. Okay, so we put some decent pressure on the field. It would be extremely nice if we didn't get board wiped. Given that they went for the first sliver last turn instead of a board wipe, which would have been, like, perfectly acceptable. Yeah. Obviously, they're not going to play it. They're getting a really nice cascade here, though. And Duress. Not bad. They get to take uh, the Celestis. I don't... Do they have first strike? All right, they don't have first strike, but they still have three more mana for another cascade. Creatures they control have flying in haste, Jesus, because now they'll be able to use them for mana. So this is going to be pretty brutal here. <clears throat> Not going to lie. He's doing really well. We might lose. 100 million percent might lose here. Thank goodness he's nearly tapped out. Please don't do anything 
else that's like super ridiculous. We also need like we need something that's going to give us plus one plus one counters, or else we are poo pooed. Oh my god, he got God. Fine, dude. At least we have Selvala who will help us afford this. Dude, you just lost. You can't attack with that. Yeah, my dude. You cannot attack with that. Uh, we're going to go... Hang on. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then... Okay, I have enough mana. All right. Just making sure, because I want... I want Foreign Clex, Tenter, Big. It's going to enter with two plus one, plus one counters because of each of these, so four... Uh, oh, right, because it enters with those. Okay, so it doesn't actually double those. Uh, we'll attack with everything. Plus one, plus one counter goes on the one with Trample. We got lucky. Wow. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Imagine his next turn. He was going to destroy us, dude. Wow. Wow, we, we got that one in the nick of time, man. Thank goodness, because... Uh, that was actually a really good top deck for him to get to with the um, Banishing Light. Well, not top deck, sorry, the Cascade, whatever. Oh, gosh, that's right. Okay, so the the counters that he that Vorinclex enters the battlefield with aren't doubled because he already has them when he enters. Okay, all right, all right. That's too bad. Yeah, he maybe tapped out a little too much for that last sliver. Yeah, especially since he used his uh his commander at seven seven to do it. Yeah. Thing is, though, like I don't know. I feel like he would have had to like lose his commander to block ours, you know, and like his board would have been devastated, you know. Do we keep this? I don't think we can. Damn it, dude. All right, this sucks. This is bad. We're going to keep this one. We're going to be grateful. Uh, mm, the heck do I get rid of? <clears throat> They're all actually really good. Maybe Evolution Sage. <clears throat> Unfortunately. <clears throat> That's really too bad that we had to lose one of those cards. It was a super nice uh, hand, but I guess we got to be grateful that uh, yeah, at least we had a really nice hand. Uh, go ahead, drop this. I guess next turn we can get um, Oracle of Moldiah down and uh, still have an extra land drop. Not terrible. They cultivate, which is super good. They're one turn off from their commander. And we know they have a land drop next turn. That's super good. Um, hmm. Is it Oracle here? Honestly, yeah, I think it's still Oracle here. Your vote would be good because it would... um. Make this tap for two mana. And all I was thinking about the whole time is uh, Nissa. Alright, um, it's unfortunate that you... Um, let's see. Uh, we get the land off the top. It's a beautiful... Oh, we get two lands off the top. That is a beautiful day. Um, let's see. Um, hang on. We have four, five, six. So if I tap uh, one, uh, six, seven, hang on, I'm sorry. Um, one and then four of them. And I think we'll be able to play Vorinclex too, right? Um, should I do that or should I do Vorinclex first? Um, honestly, maybe I should do this one. Um, All right, thank you for waiting for me, opponent, because I know that that was quite slow of me. <clears throat> so they'll probably just not block. Um, Yorvo would be pretty good if we could if they play their commander that sucks for them because we can get Yorvo onto the field um, <clears throat> and it would actually enter with 8 plus 1 plus 1 counters because 4 and Clex right 
Uh, the land that we turn into a creature with Nissa, we get six plus one plus one counters. Not to mention, she would actually plus two for boring clicks. Uh, okay, what what is this going to do? Doesn't this do something bad? Sacrifice a creature with the greatest power among creatures. That's annoying, but we can still get Vorinclex down and then plus Nissa. So honestly, that's going to be fine. The most annoying part is that they can bring it back with Muldratha. So yeah, they're not even bothering there. I'd miss the library. All the lands in the universe here. Wow. All right. Uh, we're going to plus on uh, this one, I think is right, because Lair wouldn't be able to attack. Rise, so uh, that is the right move. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, probably, let's see, attack this. I think not URFO, because if they do have a board wipe, thank you, that's annoying, but um, we can just swing in and win, like, real fast, right, with uh, Lair of the Hydra. We'll just make it X equals 10, right? Eight, just so that I don't freaking screw it up. Yep, I was just about to screw it up and do it for X equals 10 and have to tap it. Yep, I was just about to screw that up. Wow. All right. Lair of the Hydra coming in, sealing the deal. I like it. Wow. All right. Boys and girls, if you haven't already liked the stream, it would help very much getting this out to more people. Uh, Vorinclex is a lot of fun. It's a hasted green commander. It also has trample. That's super good because it doesn't have to sit around and wait. You just swing right in. Hopefully you get a bunch of plus one, plus one counters on it. It really is a lot of fun. If if you have these cards, a lot of the rares um, and mythics can be used like in so many other decks, you know? Um, and then even the more niche ones, like Hardened Scales, Branching Evolution, the things that, you know, specifically um, deal with plus one, plus one counters, there's still several plus one, plus one counters, commanders that you can use them with. I'm thinking of Yorvo off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure that there's one more that I'm forgetting. I, I don't know. I don't think this is it. Tiamat, it's actually been a long ass time since I saw Tiamat. We can definitely keep this one and we can be freaking happy with it. Do I bother with Pelt Collector? I am going to be greedy and wait until I have Guardian Project down with Pelt Collector because I don't just want to drop it and have it get eaten by their uh, kill spells or, you know, maybe uh, just deal like one freaking damage for a long time since we don't have any other creatures to uh, grow it. Right? I, it makes sense, right? Whether or not it works out, I think the reasoning's there. Alright, while they're tapped out, we'll go ahead and uh, drop the Guardian Project there. With the green card that make all your creatures mana... Yeah, there's actually... Uh, there's actually several of those. Like, some of them are Planeswalkers... Um, one of them is a, a saga called Song of Freelise. I don't know if that's the one you mean, though, because that's like Chapter 3 of Song of Freelise Saga. Or, sorry, Chapters 1 and 2, whatever. Alright. Um, Goreclaw is actually pretty good here. I think we'll probably go... Um, why don't we just do uh, Pell Collector Goreclaw? We'll get two cards. Uh, I might feel more like Kodama, honestly. So how about Hardened Scales, then Kodama pass turn? Although if they do drop a uh, untapped land, they get Tiamat. So that really sucks. Damn it. Well, they paid two life for it. They're going to use that land. Reggie, I can't pick you up right now. Uh, 
Um, oh, no. All right. Well, um, control, alt, delete. Hopefully, task manager takes a while to come up because that means uh, that the game will. Uh, there it is. All right. Good. Well, now I have to uh, cancel task manager. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. The prismatic bridge. Well, this is about to get freaking ugly as sin. Um, nevertheless, what do we do? Um, what do we do? Defiler, Vigor, Lanawar Elf, Swing. I think it has to be that. Full control is on because I hit Task Manager. Oh, nice jump, Branch. Good jump. That was a good one. That was a good one, buddy. Jump. I'll go ahead and do that, and now we'll get a bunch more lands on the field. Well, two whole entire lands. Which is better than zero whole entire lands. So, we're really hoping and praying for the uh, whiff on the prismatic bridge. Because, like, please don't just be some huge ugly dragon. Please be, like, a mana dork. Honestly, fine. Fine. Because we will be able to uh, take a chunk out of them here. We have the capacity for 8 mana here. That means uh, Vorinclex into uh, Champion of Lambhold, I think. It's going to be ugly. We're going to get a huge swing with Defiler of Vigor. And they're just about entirely tapped out. So, um... Well, if I win this one, I'm going out on a high note. That'll be the end of the stream, so... I don't know if you want to pray for me or against me, d depending on what you want with this. They'll probably put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature they control, um, if they see what's coming. You don't want me to put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature I control. Yeah, you don't want that. Good boy. Good boy. We might want to save that for the Prismatic Bridge, so let's, let's just, uh, let's start. Because if we don't, if we don't survive this turn... Oh boy, here here we come. Here we come, boys and girls. We're going to do this at x equals zero just to freaking cast it. Just so that we have another cast. x equals zero. Yes, I am sure. And we're paying with two life. Just for the count. Oh, God, you love to see it. And we swing. They can't block. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, boy. Ooh, man. I guess it was a little greedy of him to go for the Prismatic Bridge first. I don't know. He had the land for Tiamat, right? But he went Prismatic Bridge. I mean, he, you know, he was rolling the dice there. But, you know, that's the thing about gambling. Look at how beautiful that is, guys. Look at, look at those numbers, man. Every single thing. Has so many plus one plus one. God, look at that. That's beautiful. And for the OCDs, look look at how it goes from from lowest to highest. There you go. They're they're all in order. Oh man, that's that's the power of even the little one drop hardened skill. Gosh, that is such a fun freaking card. You just drop it for freaking one man, and it actually um it pairs with Defiler Vigor, right? Since it's a green permanent, like you could drop it for freaking two life if you need that round of counters. Oh, gosh. All right, boys and girls. <clears throat> Thank you for uh, stopping by, everyone. Nino, it was nice to talk to you, man. Thank you for your uh, moral support, dude, especially through uh, one of those games back there that I uh, royally screwed up, and you were very nice to me about it. So <laughs> thanks for that, man. <laughs> so, sometimes I need the freaking moral support, man. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, boys and girls. I I think we're done for tonight. I don't know what we're playing tomorrow. I rarely do. Um but it'll be something, okay? Might be a tally. I really had fun with uh, a tally. Actually, if anyone gives a crap, um, I'll just bring it up right now. That's the end of the Magic the Gathering portion here, of course. You, know, you guys are probably already gone by now. It's okay. Um, but we'll probably play uh, this one tomorrow. I, uh, I just freaking like it, man. It's just freaking high rolling with a tally. Um, tally's a big, stinky, smelly dinosaur, too. Oh, thank you, Nino. Thank you. It's always nice to have an audience. I appreciate you, man.
But yeah, tomorrow we'll go a tally. Whenever it attacks, exile the top card of each player's library. Then you may cast any number of spells from among those cards without paying their mana cost. Recently, I was playing one game uh, that day just for like 250 gold, you know. I uh, casted with a tally my Combustible Gear Hulk and their Shieldred Whispering one. Like the original Shieldred that like brings your stuff back and makes them sacrifice. And they just like left on the spot, dude. Oh my god, yeah. So I, I'm kind of feeling good about this one. It'd be nice if uh, you guys are, too. But that's okay if you're not. I understand. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Until tomorrow, where I'm feeling good about Itali. We'll uh, see you there. Same time, same place. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Worst Magic the Gathering stream. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good night.